Uh, are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Aziz Light, Veldak. Thank you so much for the 16 months. Are we live? Seems good, Pog Champ. We are live, and it does seems good, Pog Champ. Fantastic. All right, how are we doing? 13 dupes are still alive. That's good. Thank you so much again for the 16 months, Veldak. But we have quite a bit of water still. Um, I don't really foresee problems with water, but... Something to think about. Uh, maybe we should make the science room what lets us increase the output from a volcano, which I think includes the cool salt slush geyser. Didn't we have a volcano that was just about ready to pop, but we had to wait until this stream to see it? 12.3... Excuse me, cycles? Oh, this one. Maybe? I don't remember having a problem with this one. Well, whatever the case, uh, it seems to be doing alright. Keep that steam just a bit above 200 degrees. Um, this one erupts in 12... This one erupts in 73. I could have sworn there was something that was about to happen, but we had to wait till next time. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we printing? Uh, let's see. Wrenching, supplying, farming. Pacifist is fine. Increased germ resistance is fine. How much, uh, 148k calories. We're probably doing all right. Digging, cooking, suit wearing, decreased construction. That would be fine too. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take Hassan. Why not? And we're going to need one more bed, which we've already got. I'm pretty sure our food supply can keep up at the moment. We'll soon find out. Oh, and I think we have at least one person waiting for a dupe name. It is... Bait Schultz? Alright, let's see. Uh, where did Hassan go? Son, you are now Bait Schultz, and we'll need to give you priorities. Um, basically the things that you're good at, and then the rest. Seems good. Oh, we've got a bunch of skills. I don't really feel like going over that right now. Um, but yeah, what were we waiting on? I'm, I could have sworn we had a volcano that was about to erupt or something. This one erupts in 5.6. Was that it? I could have sworn we fixed this one a while ago. Hmm. What is this P... P and a door. I left a cryptic message for myself. P for... Good... Qu oh, petroleum. Yeah, we should try to make petroleum here. That actually makes perfect sense. Um, The insulated tile's getting kind of warm. Kind of want to avoid that. This one's not nearly as warm. Uh, 
Let's see, I've got crude oil on the bus. So getting it up here is not really a problem. And we've got an unused lane over here that we've left space for. Uh, mostly. I might have to move that a little bit. So, crude oil up this way. And... Petroleum... Over here. Now, if I do do it here, which seems like as good a place as any... Blue Lightning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And who is on the list for a name? Uh, no one now. We just cleared it. It was, uh, Belter Shots. Bait Shots. Bait Schultz, rather. Sweet. Okay, then. Uh, hope you're all having a good one today. Alright, so... I'm gonna want to get... Hmm. How hot does it have to be to get to petroleum? I believe it's 400 degrees. Crude oil. Liquid. Petroleum at 400 or so. Which means... Uh... Kind of hard to borrow the heat from here when we've already done this. What was that? I hope it was nothing serious. But yeah, since I've already built this here... I could put the door up here and put the metal tile down here... And... have a door that opens if the temperature of the crude oil is above 400. The hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. So if I have like an output like so, and we drop crude oil down here, let's just Forget about how the door is going to fit for the moment. Um, and we let heat through here. And the crude oil reaches 400, it becomes petroleum. I have a sensor here to say, don't drop any more crude oil in. If pressure... If crude oil is detected in this tile, don't drop any more crude oil in. So I'll just put in, like, the bare minimum. And then if it heats up enough, uh, either it all turns into petroleum and no crude oil is detected, or uh, it separates and crude oil is here and petroleum is here. Uh, and then it'll stay here until it heats up more. That should be fine. Sounds a little, sound a little bit ill. Yeah, I am a little bit. Not too bad. Dehose, Blaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Heat transfer is kind of weird with gases. Feels like they bypass insulation calculation. I have no idea. So that's pretty much all I want to do here. Um, if I just, hmm... So I want to keep... I, I mean, I could move it over a little bit. If necessary. Mr. T hacks the hacks of the T, indeed. Rubber band Rambo. Ar Arkale, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you and Chad are doing well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and then we need a little room here just to take the crude oil back into the system. Um, I'll just double check. Oh, wait a sec. Doesn't... Doesn't a liquid pump made of steel only go up to 275 degrees? 
So 400 degree petroleum is going to be a problem. So how do we cool it before it gets to the pump? Evil Plur, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't played this game in so long, indeed. I think it's the kind of game you'd play in bursts, right? Oni, yes indeed. Yeah, that's actually a problem. Like, I kind of saw what Damsel had done, but uh, this part didn't occur to me. Overheat temperature 275. We need to go to 400 to turn it into petroleum. And then we need the petroleum to find its way somewhere else at a colder temperature before it touches any machines. Hmm. That's actually really difficult. I have no idea how to go about it. Well... We already do have one method here that we use to cool molten hot magma down to the point where it's uh, solid even. It erupts in 4.8 cycles. The fact that there's no magma here shows me that we maybe haven't... had this work properly before, actually, even though I'm pretty confident in it. I got tiny amount of gas in my volcano room and walls heated to 700 degrees very fast. White solid, while solid or liquid doesn't really heat it. Yeah, 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 that's why it's a vacuum here. Hmm... I don't know. Maybe... Okay, let's say we have a heat conductor here-ish. Uh, like, I could even make this door the heat conductor for the crude oil to petroleum, and then put another door up here. That might be the way to go. That door can be to control heat for the steam room. Make sure it doesn't go too far above 200 degrees. Why is there all this water here? So if this door stays in the same place, we have a metal tile here that conducts heat to the crude oil here. And maybe that should be made out of... Uh, ceramic? Nah, it should be fine. It's not going to be molten magma temperatures. Not in vacuum with cooler on them? Aren't the appliances in the volcano room going to overheat? Nope. There's no gas. Um, and we're cooling them with conduction panels. And we don't need to cool them very fast with these. They're not going to be heating up that quickly. Okay, so... So this is metal tile. This goes here. Crude oil comes... Uh, I should probably put the liquid vent, like, way down here, actually. Or even here? No, I have to move it up so that I can have a sensor. Uh, this doesn't have an overheat temp, so as long as it doesn't literally melt, copper should be fine. Uber Gerosora, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mods, indeed. Just a few. Um, so then we have a sensor. I won't even look. I'll just say... Just to be safe, we'll make it out of steel. Um, uh, we want a liquid element sensor. 
right about here. And that's just going to say, don't output crude oil if crude oil is detected. Um, I don't think we're going to need a knot gate for that. Also, is that wire steel? It's iron. That's probably fine, but I'd rather be super safe. We're, we're not having difficulty keeping up with steel this playthrough. It's going much better than previously. Liquid element sensor, and... I could even make this out of steel, but I know that's not needed. Okay. So crude oil comes out here. If we detect crude oil here, we shut off the liquid vent. Heat is allowed or disallowed to pass through here based on... Uh, I guess based on whether we detect petroleum... Probably up here? Um, and I could put a... what is it called? A pressure sensor? Hydro sensor. We'll detect whether or not there's enough petroleum for it to leak over the side. And we'll stop it? I don't know, is that necessary? Probably should. Yeah, we, we probably don't want to let heat in here limitlessly, of course. So then, automation wire out of steel, it's going to go here. Uh, and I'll make a automation wire bridge. And it's going to look like that. Um, and then we're going to need one of these here, which I don't think is going to be in the way of the automation wire that we've already got. We will, of course, have to dig out these metal tiles temporarily to get that done. Uh, and then just snipping this wire here. should actually all be pretty straightforward. Um, and then, unfortunately, I have to bring this tile, like, one further out. I still don't know how I'm gonna make sure that we have... I, I don't know how we're gonna cool the petroleum before we pick it up, is the thing. Like, obviously I can run, like, a uh, aqua tuna. Where is it? Thermo aqua tuna. Let's say we put a thermo aqua tuna here-ish. And we run a loop through here, made of steel, so it's not going to melt. Uh, and we cool the petroleum... Um, but then, like, how do we make, do we just, do we just check if all of this petroleum is cool enough? Hmm. I could have, like, coolant loop through here, and then, like, a door here, and then only if this is cold enough so that... Yeah, only, only if, like, all of this is cold enough do we open the door to let the petroleum down here, where the pump will be, perhaps? Where's the pump? There it is. So we would need another steel door. 
Um, to the surprise of no one, I don't have enough metal. Is that made of steel? Yeah, it is. Okay. I just want to get rid of the parts that will be a problem while we're building it first. What did I just cancel? And then... Probably this will be fine. And this will be fine. And... Ideally, I'd like to seal it up. But I can definitely foresee needing to open it for some reason. Hmm. Well, let's just build this much for now. Does panels work in vacuum then? Yeah, that's the main reason to use them, I would say. They are a lot more slow compared to other cooling solutions, but for something like this where you don't need the machines to be cooled down quickly, um, especially, uh, you know, up when you're dealing with the vacuum of space, it is far more convenient than the alternatives. More reliable as well. Alright. Next dorm is... When, when does it erupt? 4.3. That's gonna be a while. Oh, this volcano is dormant. Next activity, 10.5. We've got our water in here for our maiden... Uh, eruption. This one's been doing well for a while. And... Fantastic. Excited to see this working. Do we have power here? Yeah, I think this is a graphical bug. I'm pretty sure these two are charged. Cool, cool, cool. What should we build in the meantime? I was thinking of doing a science room. Like, so that we can do, uh, what is it called? The thing what lets you make the volcanoes go faster. Um, I also kind of want to turn this whole area into, like, luxury duplicate homes. And have... A universal bunch of Atmo suit docks, so that, well, so that uh, we don't have to have Atmo suit docks in a bunch of different places. We can just have thirteen docks for thirteen dupes, or fourteen now. I'm not gonna want a line of fourteen Atmo suits in one place. Um, so maybe, maybe we could do them in, like, sets of eight or something? How big did we figure out the smallest, uh, luxury private bedroom would be? Plants look sad? What do you mean? Whereabouts? Uh, body temp. Uh, it's a little bit warm over here. We could probably squeeze something out of this. That's kind of a temporary farm though, so... I don't really want to go out of my way to fix it right now. Although... This whole area shouldn't really be like 30-something degrees. Um... 
How about... Don't really have a place to squeeze it through. Unless... Let's see. Snippy this one. And bring it back. And then through here. And then up in here. But I need this bit to work out a bit differently. Maybe... something like this. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could just do it like that. Snip this off. And then once that's drained, which might take a while actually. I should hope so, considering it's all the bristle blossoms. Why do we have water everywhere? Alright, so snip that, and then bring this up here, and go. There's our coolant loop for those two rooms. That wasn't temperature. What, why did this one look sad for a second? It's not water. The water's hiccuping every time we build a pipe. I guess the entire water system has to rethink. Kind of like the uh, all the trains repathing in Factorio whenever we put down a signal. I was thinking of Factorio trains as well, indeed. Maybe a dupe breathed on it for a sec? I don't think it cares if it's in oxygen or carbon dioxide. Or polluted oxygen. Oh, there's a bit of hydrogen in here. I wonder if that's it. But it's just staying at the top, I think. Occasionally it gets one tile down. Otherwise it would have found its way out by now. Um, I could go ahead and put a little airflow tile or two here. And maybe eventually the hydrogen in this room will end up up here. Inting time. Uh, that's glass. Glass is incredibly cheap. I don't think I want to take another dupe yet, though. Maybe if we see, like, the perfect dupe to become a rocket mission person, scientist. Uh, so for now I guess I'll just take the glass. It costs heat. It doesn't really cost, uh, any r other resource that we're gonna be short on. Oh, we have glum fish. How do I deal with that? I honestly don't know. Can I make the bathroom bigger? Maximum 64 tiles. Nope. Okay, then. Could be less than 150 kilograms for a sec. Hmm. That might be it. 100 grams of hydrogen, and it got all the way down here. Yeah, that could be it. Alright, hopefully the hydrogen will eventually find its way over here. It looks like most of it has already.
Okay. When's our eruption? 2.4 cycles. Exciting. Why do we have a pile of steel here? Hmm. Should this be a vacuum? I don't think it matters. Also, we need the crude oil to find its way over here without getting cooked on the way. Um... I don't know how hot this insulated tile could eventually get. Especially since that's a vacuum. I think we'll run it through heat. Oh. That's a bit of a problem. I think I should just run it down this way. And then I need a couple of bridges over here. I think it's high enough up to abandon the usual pattern. Um, just snip that for now. And dig this through here. Maybe we should use insulated pipe for this bit. Oh, actually, just on the very off chance that it somehow gets too hot before it even gets out of the pipe. That can go there, I suppose. And we're going to want... what the... oh, no, that's, that's right, actually. We're going to want our crude oil coming up here. And I think we can... Why are we getting scalded? For the hundredth time, why the hell are they in here without an Atmo suit? That shouldn't even be possible, and I have no idea what I could possibly do about it. Atmo suit checkpoint is enabled. Clearance always... Is that the thing I changed, someone suggested? Or was this the other way around? Suited duplicants may pass even if there is no room to store their suits. Well, I don't care as much about that so much as they have to be suited via the offender. I don't know. It's not like they're going to get killed by this, but still... He lost half his hit points. Like, honestly, what am I supposed to do about that? One point six cycles. Let's clear this stuff away. Don't want it off-gassing there any longer. I don't know if I want a vacuum in this room. It's not really necessary. But it gas would restrict the flow of liquid. Can you restrict the steam room to a certain number of folks? Um, I mean, by putting in two Atmo suit docks, that should be how that works. I don't know what else to tell you. really don't. Okay. Could I maybe extend the steam room here just so that... Just so that this lines up nicely.
Is there any automation wire above Atmo checkpoint? No. There is not. Also, the checkpoint itself doesn't have automation connection. It's only the docks that get enabled or disabled. They was already suited. They should have been. But they weren't. That's the mystery. What do we have here that we can't sweep? Anything? I don't think so. It's hard to tell. Liquid element sensor, no filter selected. Output green on specific liquid. Okay, so... If I want to do this part with no not gate or anything, I think I would have to set this one to petroleum? But I would need a switch to get it to work with its initial state. Bait Schultz? What are you doing? Oh. Nope. That's, that's my bad. I thought he was way down here somewhere. There's actually no suit thing over here. This is all the more reason that I want to set up the one-stop uh, Atmo suit dock area. So what's the minimum size for our luxury beds? Uh, bedrooms? Let's see. 24 tiles. Single comfy bed, two decor items, has back wall tiles. I'm pretty sure 24 tiles. Uh, so it's six wide, right? That's 24. If we're going to do the four height that we usually do. And then comfy bed is going to fit easily. If I can find furniture. Oh yeah, we can search. Nice. Good update. Uh, and two decor items, was it? I think we'll go for the diamond arrow pots. Just about like that. Oh, I was muted. My bad. Could do three rows of five bedrooms, so you don't have eight docks in a row. Yeah, I was just thinking about the ratio for that. So, I could do three if I wanted the docks to fit here. Um, so that would be 21 over this way. That seems fairly reasonable. And how many people have we got? Uh, 14. Hmm. So 3, 6, 9, 12. That's going to be a lot. Maybe I should just have a long hallway of Atmo suits. And then a big common living area over here somewhere. What's the maximum number of dupes I ever want to get? Is there, like, an achievement that I should go for at some point for uh, for maximum dupes? Population? Uh, where is it? 
No place like clone. Have at least 20 living duplicates living in the colony at one time. Is that is that it? Is that as big as it gets? Okay. Uh, so what if we go for 20, and we have, like, a living area, big living area over here that has beds, food, entertainment, all of that, and everywhere else is work stuff. Uh, we're gonna have to move... I mean, I could probably keep these here, but we should probably have some more bathrooms over here somewhere. Ending Achi needs 12... Tubes. I was thinking five across three tall. Indeed. Um, yeah, I think I'm going back on the idea that I wouldn't want a long line of Atmo suits. It might actually be the most efficient way to go about it. And we're not using here or here or here or here for anything in particular. But I'm thinking if we're going to have 20 in a row, we could pretty much have some standard sized rooms. R room for some standard sized rooms here. Or standard ish, anyway. How big is the science room? Well, it should probably be in the living area, anyway, right? Hmm. We're not even growing these uh, plants anymore anyway, so why don't we make a bunch of extra beds up here, temporarily. What have we got? Six? Never any sandstone anymore. That's okay. Uh, and then we'll decon this stuff and start working on our... I, th I think I want it to be right next to the printing pod. Uh, start working on our tunnel of Atmosu checkpoints. Can dupes pass a suit checkpoint unsuited if it has no oxygen or power? No, I don't believe so. In fact, like, often you'll see available... Yeah, this is a good example. Available lead. It says zero. What the hell? But there's four tons in here. Well, I was going to say... Like, say all of your lead is down here, and you've got a checkpoint here, and it's not getting oxygen, or it's not getting power or something. Um, basically... According to resources, you've got zero lead, uh, because the dupes can't path down this way. Mm. Alright, first things first. You know what? That's sandstone. Why don't we grab some of that while we're on the subject? Now we can get rid of these old bunks. Get rid of these old... Uh, planter boxes. Pretty sure we're done with research for the moment. And I want to put them in a more deliberate place anyway. Oh, are we erupting? 0.6 cycles. Cool, cool, cool. I need to fix the... the 50-50 that we're getting with polluted water. That should do it. What is going on? 
Uh, this is connected to the wrong place. That's what's going on. We should also see these plants growing now. Temperature here is still a little bit higher, but it'll sort itself out. I think. Alright. Let's get it rid of the old mealwood farms. I might want to double our bristle blossom farm. Although we're obviously not moving the pips. They've got natural arbitraries that they've planted. Uh, I could make a row of them down here. First we want to move our mess hall. And we obviously don't want to move the poker shells. Wait, where are the... Where... where did our poker shells go? Did they starve to death? Oh no. Apparently we didn't have polluted dirt. It's high priority. And I know we're making polluted dirt with our fish down here. There's plenty of polluted dirt. Is it unreachable? No? No, it should definitely be reachable. What the hell? Let, let's just confirm. Polluted dirt. We've got 7.1 ton. And for some reason this critter feeder has zero polluted dirt in it, even though it's priority 9. And it looks like all the poker shells died. Bruh. Bruh. I think I see the reason. It's probably because I disallowed movement through that door because of eggs or something. Might need a sweeper in your fish tank? Um, I could do it to save labor, but we definitely don't strictly need it. Oh, especially considering how quickly they picked that up. It's volcano time! Alright. What's that? Refined carbon. That's fine. And heat. We're already... Sucking up that steam. Wait, wasn't this set to green signal above 200? Okay. Wait, what? I'm confused. Open the door to stop the heat coming through when we're above 200 degrees, which we're definitely not. Why is the door open? Oh. That's why. <laughs> yeah. So, what I'm going to tune this hydro sensor to is whatever it takes for petroleum to spill out over here. Hydro sensor giving green, indeed. Alright, so heat is being conducted, it's building up, 147, 150, fluctuates a bit, 155, cool, 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 and then, oh, apparently it hit 200 for just a moment somehow? We don't have a very uniform heat distribution apparently. But, yeah. I believe this is our maiden controlled eruption from this volcano. And once that hits 200 degrees, 
I don't know why it hits 200 degrees in such weird little flickers. We're not, like, failing to erupt more because... Because of the shape of the liquid here, are we? That would be... Ungood. We've got 347 kilograms of magma on this tile. I think we're probably missing out on magma because of the shape of this. Because it's putting out so much. Or it would be, but it's probably over pressure. Oh, it's idle at the moment. Okay, I'll have to pay attention to it in 15 cycles. Also, what would be the best way to program in some latch behavior with this? I might need... I mean, I'm sure I would need a few more things in here, like... Maybe we have a temperature sensor here that says you can go up to 210 and a temperature sensor here that says don't bother sucking in steam unless you're at 200. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That might be worth... It won't actually be latch behavior. It won't actually be latch behavior, but... That would... Pretty much give us what I'm going for. I just don't want the turbines turning on and off erratically in the door as well. No, I do want some latch behavior. I don't want the door opening and closing like crazy. So, how would I do that? It's built into the containers where, like gives a signal of red once it uh, reaches a high threshold and then green not until it reaches a low threshold. That's basically what I want. But I'm probably going to have to use more... I almost said combinators. More gates than I would like to to make that happen. Or I could just use buffers instead, so that it doesn't flicker on for one second at a time. Ooh, yeah. What if I just put a what if I just put a gate he, a, a buffer here? Um, continue sending a green signal for an amount of buffer time after. The input receives a red signal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, once we hit 200... Well, I would have to move this guy to the left, I think. Once we hit 200, keep sending green signal for like... I don't know, 10 seconds? Or maybe I could, I could make it stop at like 205 or 210 or something. It could easily be tweaked. Hmm. Do I want the steam turbines? Do the steam turbines lose any efficiency if we go beyond 200 degrees Celsius? Or do they just, apart from the fact that they'll get hotter, do they just take more time to suck the heat out of the steam? I imagine it's that one. So we are, if, if nothing else, we're going to lose a little bit of, fish, of efficiency to uh, more heat. This room getting hotter instead of the heat staying in here and getting consumed by the steam turbines. Um, 
Let's see. What's the smallest memory cell I could make with this? Oh. Oh, it's literally... It's built for us. It's called a memory toggle. Contains eternal memory and will output whatever signal is stored on that memory. Signals... Yeah, yeah I, I remember this. There's like a set reset. Sending a green signal onto the set port will set the memory to green. Sending a green signal to the reset will set it back to red. That's perfect. That's our latch, isn't it? And where's the output? Uh... I presume the black one is the output? Yeah. That sounds right. Where can we fit this? I'd love to not have to move uh, the sensor. Black square is the output, indeed. Um... Well, I'd have to have a second thermo sensor, right? So we could say set at... Or is it reset at 200? Reset when below 200? Wait, red is closed. So red is make stuff hotter. Okay. So... Set is 205 or 210 or something. And reset is below 200. Seems good. Reset at high threshold. Where am I going to put these? Like here? Uh, I want to put the uh, Thermo Aqua Tuner here if I can, which means I don't want this to be here exactly. Maybe over here? Because reset is going to close the door, right? Reset is going to close the door, yes, which is allowing heat to conduct. So reset at 205 or 210 or something, and set at 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set low, reset high. Okay. Do we need this? Yeah, we do. Um, let's think about where I want my thermo aqua tuner. And do we want sensors or something linked to that. Oh, I was gonna copy settings, deke on this, and I want walls here. So we can move this over a tile. Um, so our thermo aqua tuner could be as far over as here. Don't we need like a tile above it or something? No, we'll put the temperature sensor down here. That should be fine. Thermo Aquatuna. Top right is its sensor input. That shouldn't be a problem anyway. Why can't I put... Oh, I can. I guess we could just put these two next to each other. Put the wire spaghetti. Do we still want the door and the steam turbines to have opposite timing? Probably. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Yep, 
you're in the way. That's a little bit annoying. I guess it's probably fine if one of these sensors is over here. Especially if that's going to be the upper threshold. Yeah, that should be okay. And then... I need to move this guy over anyway. So... snippy that. Position is good, but turn... so output is at bottom. And both inputs up top. Yeah, that might be a little tidier. Just like that. Yeah, that's going to be a lot simpler to read. If I... If I put a bridge here... Then I could still have this sensor right near the middle of these two... I guess it doesn't matter that much. No, this is fine. This is fine. Maybe I should make uh, more storage for the magma. Wouldn't that just shift the same problem? If I don't have the the metal tile that it conducts with below the magma here? Probably. Is that already set? Uh... Above 210 for the reset, right? Or is it the other way around? Below 200 for set, above 200 for reset. If I got this right. Alright. So currently we are below 200. So we've set green. Oh, did I get it backward again? Because green has stopped the heat coming. Yeah, this is just going to keep going until we're at like 125 degrees. So do we swap them? Below 200, above 210. So above 210, we set it to green, which means we open this. And... The steam turbine, we stop getting heat through, the steam turbines do their thing until we get down to 200 degrees, at which point everything goes red, which means this closes, lets heat through, and the steam turbines aren't going to activate until we get to 210. That should be fine. That should be fine. You can put it on the current wire and just snip it on the current wire. Oh, as in the existing wire. Oh, that didn't take long. So what's our temp? How quickly are we going to reach 210 here? Uh oh, why are we making messes? Oh no. This needs to have priority input. Wait, the 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 P water storages are empty. But the loop is full. Oh no. That was before you had built anything? Bedwetter indeed. <laughs> Oh no. So why 
there's... How... How are there so many pee waters around the base already? Isn't that the first notification we got? Okay, how do we make... This is like 50-50 priority, which should be enough. What? Where? Did we? You're joking. Uh, we just straight up broke the P-water loop. It's not complicated. Yeah, go on, make another mess. See if I care. Build a base with polluted oxygen. It's not like I care about these things. Um... This is some really nice routing. Thank you. Yep, there it is. Alright. How's this looking? Oh, I think we need more heat from the volcano before... No? There we go. Alright, wait, wait, wait. What's the temperature? So we just switched on. Uh, we're now down to 204 degrees already on this one. And this says 217, though. And... It's actually going pretty consistently. Maybe I should set it a bit lower, because it, like, fluctuates. Now, what's the temperature over here? A bit below 200. Or, or slightly above 200. Now, that's a, actually a pretty good representation. And then it switches off. And it's flickering over the reset all over the place. Until the heat rises again. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm very happy that it only takes one memory toggle to make our latch. I like playing around with uh, combinators in Factorio, but I don't love how many combinators it often takes to do something. Earlier today I was just messing around with something to get the lowest uh, value out of a bunch of signals. And I'm up to like, I don't know, 10 or 15 combinators. Because I have to iterate over all of them. And I need a memory cell to check them against. And I need to reset the memory cell if we get a value that's lower than the value that we had before. And it all has to be timed, so there's a lot of there's, there's a number of combinators that are added just to delay a signal by one or two ticks. Do you want to get rid of steam even when you don't need energy? Well, it depends. Um, what happens if I let this steam get hotter and hotter? Does it act as a store of energy? Never mind the fact that more heat will escape. Soul Shinnery, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is some really nice routing, thank you. I mean, yes, I say that at the worst opportunity, but we should celebrate the good things. Indeed. Alright, so here I think is where I want to put my... Uh, power consumer. I mean thermo aqua tuna. No! Don't drop what you're doing when it's 99% done just because the bell rings. You muppets. How can I build this without letting this water out? Hmm. Let's just do some cheap insulated tile right here. So you may want to have them running. 
you lose a bit of efficiency on the steam turbines eventually, and they will output the highest, the higher heat differential and ambient heat production. Yeah, that's what I figured. The steam engines have a max power output, can't go beyond that no matter how hot the steam is. Yeah, 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 I didn't figure the steam turbines would output more power. But if I have a steam turbine consuming, say, 400 degrees steam, and let's ignore the fact that the steam turbine is going to heat up more than usual, so some of that heat is going to escape uh, our storage. But let's say I've got some constant consumer, one steam turbine, a room full of steam, the same amount of steam. The steam is either at 250 or 300 degrees. Uh, am I going to get more energy out of the 300 degree steam over time? Or is it not going to work that way? No, it's not? Okay. Um, so do I want to... Flip this around, I don't think it matters. Let's see, we put this here. And... This is not like our usual loop. We could just... Oh, wait. What fluid do I want to use with this? This area is going to be hot enough to turn crude oil into petroleum. How about it? Petroleum's almost the same as crude in terms of... In terms of being a coolant, right? Except it has a wider range. Freezing point negative 57. Evaporation 538.9. Specific heat capacity 1.76. Thermal conductivity 2. I'm pretty sure those last two are identical to crude oil. Uh, it's slightly better specific heat. So, unless I have other options. I'm pretty sure super coolant is quite a ways away. We need... Gold, fullerene, and petroleum. I don't even know where to get fullerene. Additional states, carbon. So what if we melted refined cut? We would need 3.5k Celsius. Yeah, I think, I think we'll just not worry about that yet. Uh, so what if... Obviously, this is a patrol a, a problem as we're looking at making petroleum in the first place. But what if I put some petroleum in these pipes to cool the petroleum? That way, we know they're not, you know, going to have a problem with being hot enough to become petroleum. You can use very hot steam to have the turbines intaking the amount of water they need. You need at least two vents open. At two vents, max power is achieved at 357. Wait, what? Doesn't make up for the energy loss. When you throw water back in, you need less heat from the volcano to flash it. This is me parroting data off the wiki. Take it with a grain of salt, sure thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's why I'm c controlling letting the heat from here go to the steam room. I, I presume there are significant downsides to letting it go well above 200. Other than the fact that we might, like, melt our door or something. Um... Hmm. Other question is, where am I going to get some petroleum? Is 
in the first place to act as the coolant, other than this very neat natural petroleum boiler right here. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's lead. Why is there a natural dropped piece of lead down here? That's kind of strange. You can block steam engine inputs with tiles. When you block three inputs, you can still run the engine at max efficiency with 357 degrees steam. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't really want to build steam turbines with a bunch of doors underneath them, though. What other options, if any, are there? Um, I guess I could use hydrogen instead of a thermal aqua tuner. Hydrogen. Yes. Liquid at negative 252, and obviously it's already a gas, so that we don't have to worry about it flashing to gas. And it would also be very easy to supply it. Um, specific heat capacity 2.4 versus... Wasn't petroleum liquid less than that? Interesting. Frog top, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doesn't that actually mean that... I mean, I could... It would be a bad idea, but I could just move the coolant loop we've already got so it touches this. But no, um... Hydrogen. Uh, sorry, petroleum is specific heat capacity 1.76, thermal conductivity 2. Uh, hydrogen gas has way less conductivity, but specific heat capacity is higher. And when you're using a thermo aqua tuner or a thermo regulator, it just arbitrarily drops the temperature by 14 degrees, which means if you have a high specific heat capacity, you're going to pump a lot more heat into the thermoregulator and out of the pipe. It's also a lot less power. And I'm also far less interested in how quickly we can cool the petroleum. Uh, only that we do cool the petroleum. So... So maybe, maybe this is the use case for a thermoregulator. Because of the one kilogram versus ten thermoregulator using twice the power by default. Yeah, but the amount of power at the t at the moment, like in the instant, is two fifty watt, two forty watt compared to one point two. It makes it a lot easier to manage. Um, so let's see, gas pipe, one kilogram, liquid pipe, ten, yeah. Fair enough. But what about the difference in specific heat capacity? 2.4 versus petroleum. Versus 1.76, that is not insignificant. What's the ratio? 2.4 over 1.76. Uh, 1.36. So 36 percent are in that. 36 uh, percent better in that respect, which will offset the downside. So, for 240 watt, we're, well, I guess you could say it's like, yeah, 2400 watt to cool 10 kilograms. Hmm.
But the thing is, the other downsides, we need to get petroleum here first. I don't want to make a petroleum, like a regular old, not using a volcano petroleum production line, just to get a little bit of petroleum to get this thing started. If anything, I would rather use hydrogen to do this, and then when we have petroleum, we could swap it in. Hydrogen's a good coolant, there's just less of it that you can run in your loops, indeed. It also takes a bit longer to transfer heat, yes, of course, but like I said, I'm really not worried about how fast this one is going to be. Not yet, anyway. We can turn it into... when we've got abundance of power and... Um, and when we've got petroleum to swap this in for a thermal aqua tuner. We'll do it that way. Now... How am I going to... Ideally, I would like to make this a vacuum. I think I'm going to have to move this ladder. I could just put, like, an airlock door over here. To make sure the dupes can get in to do some kind of maintenance. Which I'm going to need if I want to empty the room of gas anyway. Right? Unless? No, I don't think there's an unless. Does the airlock work with liquids too? This modded one, yes it does. Yeah, I think we're going to need a bit more airlock over here. Can I, like... This thing doesn't have any automation wire yet, so I can just say it should be open for now. So that the dupes can work with all of this. Alright, so let's not build it yet because we need to make sure that the dupes, that it's actually powered before we build it. Probably should power that one. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you liking the update? Uh, already liking being able to search uh, this stuff. I don't really remember what else there was. But thumbs up. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Join us in following dams. I already did. What the hell? That little pop-up is not helpful. Built-in pliers? Oh yeah, I remember that. I kind of still have the mod active, I think. But yes, it's fantastic. Hell yes. Uh, wait, let's... I might leave the airlock door there, but I'm going to put it on lowest priority. Which means it'll never get built. Um, I want a temperature sensor. for whether or not we're going to open this door. And the only condition there is the temperature of the fluid here is way below the danger level for the liquid pump. First and last icon is a player? First and last icon. Oh, I see. Yes. We have bonus plays. 
What are we building? Um, so I've I've got the volcano as a power source and a source of igneous rock working. Uh, I want to also make it a petroleum boiler. So I'm going to leave this door in place. I'm going to make another door up here. So this door is now going to control heat transferring to where the crude oil is going to be. Uh, and also up here, because that's probably fine. Actually, maybe not. Uh, maybe I should have thought of that. I think I messed up. I think I messed up more than I realized. Uh... I could just put metal tiles here. That'd probably do it, right? If we keep this door here, metal tile goes here. Oh, they're not going to be able to reach that, are they? We'll see. But if metal tile goes here and second door goes here, that should probably be fine, right? I think so, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look a little bit scuffed, like we obviously patched it in later, but that's not that big of a deal. Could be a second door next to it. Never mind fluid with floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multi-use, indeed. Morpheus, what... Is Morpheus really not able to just drop down here? Really? Wait, wait, wait. Before you do... No, it needs a delivery. Alright, decon this door. And decon this. And hopefully we don't need to decon this one just to make this reach. They also can't reach that top tile from the floor. Oh, they can. I've got a mod that increases their range by one. Also, they can come in here if they need to. Oh, and we're going to be needing some ladders over here. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, why don't we just ladder up here. Also, that should have ladder, I think. Is there a plant there? Oh, there is. Now what? Oh, for crying out loud. It's almost night time. We need this done right away. Absolute experts at getting themselves killed. You didn't just go to bed because the bell rang, right? While the sirens are blaring? Hurry up, he's down to half oxygen. Yes, Morpheus, I know you're hungry. This is what you get for getting yourself stuck. Please tell me they're not all going to bed. Are you kidding me? Glacier Wolf sleeping. What? What is the point of yellow alert? Can Morpheus dig? Morpheus is asleep. I... You... This is where and when you choose to go to sleep. Really. It's red alert that matters. Wait, that's Star Trek? Use red alert? Oh, it seems like he's gonna make it. Someone on this digging job. Can Morpheus not dig? Oh, 
Morpheus skills. Where are you? I wish I could search. Morpheus. Oh, it's like hard digging, isn't it? No, this is this is regular digging right here. Sigma beans on it. And we're making messes again. Oh, right. Hurry up, Sigma Bean. Thank you. How is he still... You've got to be kidding me. No, this one. This one specifically. Who's on it? Unreachable? No, it bloody well isn't. Oh, don't tell me. He's, he's waiting for a suit to come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now this rando is taking the job because it's just giving it to the first person who's available, no matter how far away they are. <sighs> Beyond stupid. Alright. Can we get our door built now? We're gonna need a gas pump to get rid of this, but... I guess I'll use a plastic one rather than swap this out. I don't think you can get there, indeed. I had a dupe fall asleep in the oil biome underneath my oil lake, and he had the toasty surroundings buff. Be happy not the slowest dupe locked the job? Yeah. What's the temp here? 3637. We can use plastic. Although, how much oxygen is it? Two kilograms? God damn it. Alright, fine. I'm gonna... No, I, I need to decon these anyway, just so that someone can reach this metal tile. So I'll put a gas pump there. A big old regular gas pump. And... We'll pump it all out here somewhere. Preferably not via the hot place. And a little bit of extra wire, just for now. Oh, and please build... Please build this after you've built the airlock door. Right, when does this erupt? 11.4 cycles, this is a good opportunity. To get that second door in. Don't forget your door in the middle. Your current door isn't doing anything. Yes. Actually, it's not just a good opportunity, you're right. It's something we have to hurry up and do or else. So... I think I was going to put the door here. We're not going to need these two. I don't think we're going to be able to reach them. Do I care enough? Yeah, I kind of do. It's only us that it's actually like a waste of 10 steel, but whatever. It's actually only like one piece of wire that we're not able to reach. But yeah, we should probably get this in as a priority. And metal tile over here. When's the eruption? 11 cycles. Hurry up and decon this. Fantastic. 
Don't forget you. Yes, yes. Could come in from the side rather than the top. Uh, you want to keep a seal on your steam room from the side rather than the top. Well, it's done now. Or it will be. Should we get more poker shells? I think we should. I haven't dealt with the eggs, though. What if... Ooh, I know. That's actually an interesting idea. Maybe it's as easy as that. Um, let's do a critter sensor. We've got 15 tons of iron. Very nice. Does it, it reads the whole room, right? And then we just lock the door if, if there's an egg. But if an egg appears while someone is in here, they're going to be trapped. Uh, I wish doors would work, or had the option to work, the way they do if you use a duplicate checkpoint, which for some reason needs 10 watt and produces 500 DTUs of heat, and needs the extra space to work. Have you gone to space yet? Nope. Starvation 2.0? What do you mean? We're doing fine. What are we printing? Pink Unitard. Don't even have to think about that one. Who's wearing the pink Unitard? I think that's as close as we're going to get to purple. We don't have Damsel this time, though. Uh, who wants the pink Unitard? No food delivery during egg? But there's like... Two kilograms. That's not that much. What if I made a bunch more critter feeders? How much do they eat per day? We're only going to want like five, right? However many it takes before they get glum. Uh, let's see, regular poker shell. What? Here it is, 70 Kilograms per cycle. Polluted dirt. How much is here? Two tons. I think that's probably enough. Make it ten tons. Why not? It's two tons in each, indeed. Oh. Oh, you're stuck already. Good job. Um, open. Oh, they can just do that? Cool, cool, cool. Actually, leave it like that for now. Okay, so we might need a knot gate. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, count eggs if below one green signal. And that's all it should take. So if there are any eggs, no one's going to come in to get attacked. And we're just going to wait for the egg to pop and see how that goes. I suspect it's not going to work that well, but I want to try it. I thought there was a gas problem in here, but they're really just breathing on each other. Okay. Also, we've now got polluted oxygen all over the place. Because we had polluted water all over the place. Lovely. Alright, how's this build looking? Why have they still not deconstructed that. Here we go. Alright, now we can finally put this back the way we want. Uh, I'll just confirm this touches. Fantastic. Very good. And then... 
put this here. So this is going to be... Well, for now it's going to be above something. Once we've actually got fluid up here, we want heat to pass through if we're below an amount. So we'll have to swap that over once we reach that point. Alright, so far so good. Start emptying the room of gas. Fantastic. Should I have a... I probably should. Wait, what's going on here? Repair errand. Why? Ninety-six degrees? Oh, because heat's coming through. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, no. That... That was a bit premature. Heating the room? Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. Beep, 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 beep. Good thing I made that out of gold amalgam. No real harm done. Why do we have a tile of ceramic sitting here? Oh, because I... Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. You are already in the right place. Fantastic. When does this erupt? Ten cycles. When does this empty? Pretty soon, actually. Very, very soon, actually. And... gone. Perfect. Alright. Decon, and decon, and decon. And sweep. Actually, don't sweep that just yet. Dang this lag? What lag? Do you need to worry about heat leaking through the airlock? Yeah, I was just getting to that. I think I should have... I think I should have a vacuum room here, even though it means yet another airlock. But it's not like they draw power... Um, while they're not being used. Make this lower priority. Actually, just dig out those tiles first. And then... Some of this over here. Some of this over here. Ladders go here. I didn't want to kill that water weed, but... Do I need to go in there, actually? Probably not. I could dig under here if I really wanted to. That seems fine. I probs wasn't here for this part, but how are you cooling the petrol? Uh, that was why I asked about space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to remove it temporarily, but what I am going to do. Let me sweep this. Don't know why it's sandstone here. It was probably the pipes or something. Evil Pla is stuck. You guys never cease to amaze. Alright, rip this water weed. 
I'm not going to waste any time getting him out of here. Get him! Raus! Raus! Yes, indeed. Hurry up with those ladders. I guess I didn't actually have to fill the water weed. Whoops. Also, we're going to need some ladders down here. What do we have lying around? Sedimentary rock. And now we're going to get a bunch of water in here as well. Can we mop that? Yeah, we can. Who's on this job? Cabin. Thank you. Alright. And they've trapped themselves again if I wasn't watching. Why? Uh... Now what? You can't dig this personally, can you? Alright. Can we please sweep this sandstone? I don't want it to be stuck here. Oh, what the f... What? What? How? Three hundred and twenty-seven degrees. You're telling me the steam reached three hundred and twenty-seven degrees even though we were heat controlling it? No. How the... How did water get in here? Or steam? Did your airlock melt? It shouldn't have. We were, ke we were temperature controlling this room, keeping it at a maximum of 210. What? You weren't controlling it when you rebuilt the door. But I was. It was connected to the same logic that we had before. Ladder on the right? What do you mean? Mike Lat? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What the actual... Check temps? It's too late now. Look, this is still only like 200. Ugh. <sighs> I... this is beyond frustrating. I mean, I'm gonna build this out of steel because steel is cheap nowadays anyway, but there should be absolutely no reason that that needs to be more than lead. We were keeping this below 210-ish. The hot is going around the right and up the ladder. This room was a vacuum. This room right here was a vacuum. There is no heat conduction from the magma up this way. Zero. Only one thing to do, mop the magma. <laughs> That's not possible, is it? It only says that there's too much liquid. Great, so we have to... We're going to end up with superheated steam again. We're going to end up with the same disaster from two weeks ago, and I have no... No idea why. This is at 224 degrees. We've got a red signal. Well, that shouldn't be happening. How have we got a red signal? If it's below 200 
green signal, reset, this goes red. If it's above 210... You're kidding. Wait, what? No, that's about right. If this steam reaches 210, this goes green, and we open the door. And we stop letting the heat through. Is something made of ice? No? No, that's, that's correct. So how the hell... How the hell did 210 degree steam melt lead? Don't tell me it somehow got marked for deconstruction. How would that even happen? Could it be the dupe carrying the thing that was next to the magma? The dupe just went by that side like carrying something that was super hot through the door? When's the last autosave? Less than seven minutes ago. Oh, wait, what's the time now? That's like eight minutes ago. I kind of want to see how this happened. And I am disinclined to clean up the same mess again from two weeks ago. It breaks the moment a dupe is carrying stuff out of the steam chamber. Well, let me look at how hot the things in the steam chamber are. They should only be like 210 degrees. Wait, wait, wait. This igneous rock is 1286. Is that why? Because it hasn't equalized. There's 8.1 ton of it and it hasn't equalized yet. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I'm going to I'm going to try and test it. We're going to tell someone to sweep this as high priority. No one has an errand. Why not? Um, I guess we need... Surely we've allowed Igneous Rock. Where would it be? Raw Mineral? Igneous Rock. It's not full. Sweep only. Okay. So someone sh should be coming to pick this up, right? Or did I just see... Store Minerals Cavern. So can I not see when someone's coming to pick up this specifically? Oh, this might be it. Alright, temperature of airlock door. 200. 220, 277, 300, 3, ooh. yeah, I think we figured it out. I think that's our answer. It's transferring heat to the airlock? Yeah. Even though it's supposed to be a vacuum in here, but it's like, not really. Okay. What's the easiest way to... It's kind of funny, because the this thing gets heated up, but then it's just going to transfer back to the steam room. Because this is a vacuum. Um... I guess I could, we don't need this anymore. I could get rid of this liquid vent. And we could build a couple of insulated tiles right here. Also, stop sweeping that. Budgie bum, don't, don't do it. No, what are you... 
You muppet. Move over here. Oh, now what? They're gonna get themselves stuck. No. You idiots. Like herding cats it is. Even while we're trying to fix the situation to prevent this from happening, they go out of their ways to do it. Uh, trolls, indeed. Right, try this again. Decon this and build insulated tile here. You know what? Build it out of something other than igneous rock, because they'll pick it up from here. A number of things in this game that should be straightforward, that the dupes make an absolute nightmare, is too damn high. Stupidity is strong with these ones. I think it's malicious creativity. I think they want to die just to spite me. Also, this tap is in the wrong place now. What? Do Why? Why are you like this? Literally just trying to put a tile there so they can't go that way. One tile. One tile. <sighs> Maybe just disable the airlock? Then how are they going to build the tile to block them from going through so that we can trap the steam so that we can replace the airlock with the steel one? Forbid them command would be nice? I know. It really would. Oh, I guess I could have built it out of ceramic. They would have taken it from there. <sighs> Alright. Glacier Wolf is on the case. They really need a forbid command? Yeah, they needed one... Day one. Alright, that actually looks like it's working. So now they'll decon this without ever coming in here. And then... Once this is built, it'll displace the steam over this way, and we can swap out our airlock. I had dupes taking 1200 degree igneous for other projects when I was fixing my magma oopsie. Indeed. There's no way I can... I'd love to get an auto sweeper or something. Maybe I should I should probably make this thing spread the igneous rock across a few tiles so that at least we get some of it cooling down a lot faster instead of ending up with a pile of 8.1 tons at 1200 degrees. 1200C rock would do wonders with liquid lock, too. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, we can swap this out for steel now. I think the conductive wire must have been lead as well. It is. Alright. And then replace that with steel. Replace that with steel. Lower the priority of this one. We 
we have our vacuum over here. Fantastic. And I want igneous rock here. Maybe drop it on some temp shift plate? Hmm. It's too late to put it where this is, right? Temp shift plate. What should I make it out of? Igneous? Slow heating? Maybe not. Uh, iron or steel wouldn't melt, right? Oh, can I make it out of ceramic? I can. Why does it say we have zero? Oh, I can put a temp shift plate there. Cool, let's try that. JD, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are the dupes allowed oxygen? Uh, apparently they're allowed to sabotage my projects maliciously. They need oxygen to do that, so I, I guess the answer is yes. Insulator is really bad for temp shifting. Yeah, you don't see. I was just thinking of something that definitely wouldn't melt, but... Uh, ceramic. Uh, actually, wait, ceramic is an insulator, isn't it? God damn it. Uh, what temp are we looking at? Well, anything that doesn't melt when magma touches it should be fine. Let's use steel. Can we use steel for... Actually, I'm sure iron would be okay. This comes out at... 1726. Um, iron melts at 1534, but by the time it comes up here, it has to be significantly lower than that, right? It has to be solid. 1534 degrees versus 1409. If it's solid, it has to be... Yeah, it's got a higher melting temperature. So let's use our ridiculously plentiful iron for this one, I think. It should be okay. And if the iron melts somehow, I'm honestly not that concerned. Wish there was an insulated bag or something for the dupes to carry stuff, indeed. Guess I remember wrong. What do you remember wrong? Steel and diamond are good at moving heat. How much? I thought steel was very close to iron for conductivity. Let's see. Uh, 55? Versus... 54. It's actually very slightly higher. Cool, cool, cool. Can we build this now? Yeah. We've got the wire there. Diamond is heat immune, indeed. Well, a lot's been happening. Uh, I haven't been saying hello to some people. Sloda, Twiff, Klauswain, Urix. Zaxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Who else? Benwu, I think I said hello earlier, but welcome. Beatry Cottontail, Simply Coco, RPHL. That has been a. Sorry? It's been a eventful 10 20 minutes or so. Don't forget your second airlock on the petrol room. Oh, yeah, true. Oh good, we're going to give the dupes opportunities to get trapped here again. Fantastic. Let's just take our time with that one. Uh, let's get this plastic out of this hot place as well. Why can't I... There it is. Alright, so we should be able to decon these now. Why is Morpheus scalded? Did he go into here without an Atmos suit? I think he would have been more scalded than this if that were the case. 
Is he just carrying hot stuff? Why did we remove a pneumatic door here? Also, did I fix the pipe from earlier? Yes, I did. Also, also, why do we have this 50-50 problem? Um, where does it start? Oh, it's here. That's fine. I'm kind of surprised that causes it to bottleneck on 50-50. Hmm. Alright. I think we can connect this here now. Probably shouldn't yet connect that all the way. Dig this out. And I want to see that temp shift plate built so we can see how well that works. Oh, is this it? That takes... that takes a lot of labor. Alright. Just put this over here, I guess. Check that decon. I think you slipped. Was wrong. No worries. Maybe keep the ladder until they're done with the floor. Uh, I'll just drop the prayer with these two. Oh, I definitely don't want to dig up these plants. We're getting free food that I didn't even realize. 8.16. Eight point one cycles until we have another eruption. Looks like we finally cleared this up. Fantastic. Can that temp shift melt the liquid vent? Do you mean the conveyor chute? It's made out of steel. So, no. Alright, what's the temperature of the igneous rock now? It is dropping. Considering we've got 7.7 .7 tons here, I'd say it's actually dropping pretty quickly. It went down like a degree in that during that last sentence or two. But that's actually not insignificant for an overall rate. Um, I'm guessing it's not as easy as just putting this chute here that we would end up with infinite storage of igneous rock, right? Yogun, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The liquid vent next to it... Uh, the liquid vent doesn't have an overheat temp. Oh, it's made out of copper. Copper melts at many degrees uh 1083 oh well if it melts we'll just clean it up i doubt it though because yeah it's, it's not that fast and this the steam engines are going to take the heat yogun thank you very much for the raid welcome welcome Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. Sorry, I fell asleep for the other night. Or I s oh, okay. If it would be even faster if you dropped on the metal tile. Hmm. I guess since we have vacuum here, technically that should be okay. But we're going to let steam out if we try to replace this, maybe. I don't want to risk it. Alright, so now we need another mechanized door, and it's already got, it doesn't already got automation wire here. 
Um, the door's gonna open when this sensor is cold enough. So that there's no danger of destroying the liquid pump with hot petroleum. And thank you for the follow. Just move the conveyor output two spaces left. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. That, that actually sounds pretty good to me. And it'll also give us a couple more tiles of conveyor rail, which is also uh, like an opportunity for the... for the igneous rock to cool down. Because it'll not be in volumes of like 7.7 .7 tons. Oh, I could... Hmm... That might be a good way to go as well. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Conveyor. Conveyor rail thermo sensor. Oh. We're going to need a bridge here. Automation wire bridge. And then put this here, not out of lead. Wait, does that mean we have lead wire here? No, it's all steel. It's lead way up here, that's, a, that's probably okay. And even if it's not, it'll be easy to clean up. So basically we're going to wait for the temp to drop to something or other before we open the chute. Keep getting pulled deeper and deeper. Today I made naphtha. Indeed. Was it by accident? Mo is long? What's going on? I used to mow T Hax's car, so it was you. Clever me put plastic under small petro rockets. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, what do we got going on here? Should we put some more temp shift plates? I don't see why not. We have so much iron. Two iron volcanoes will do that. Oh, speaking of which, did we... What? I don't think I... Oh, here it is. Yeah, no, that's fine. Why is this... Oh, there's hardly any steam here. I think we need a bit more water added to this system. I think the steam turbine is struggling. This is like vacuum all the time, it looks like. Yeah, I think we could use a little bit more water. Let's be a bit more careful not to overdo it this time. How about... 100 kilos. Yeah, I'm seeing milligrams of steam. Like, just over a gram on one tile. That's not so good. It's very easy to put water in, and it's very difficult to take it back. So I think we'll stop with that and see how it goes. Even though I'm sure we could put in a lot more water. It drops out next to the airlock? Yeah. Could have done a better layout here, but it shouldn't be a problem, as long as we don't overdo it. 
Also, once this conveyor shutoff gets up to 200, uh, it shouldn't be as much of an issue. That's looking a lot better. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. How's this build looking? They're still going. Oh, right, the temp shift plates take forever. Alright, so we want... Below... 200? Maybe a little bit higher. And then, can we hurry up with the conveyor chute, please? That would be good. Fantastic. Now we're waiting for the next eruption. 6.5 cycles until that happens. It'll never cool down lower than the steam. Yeah, but the steam does drop below 200 sometimes. Just a little bit. But I'm not sure if like that tile, if it's going to happen that often. We'll see. Oh, they did manage to do that in exactly the wrong order, even though I'm pretty sure I marked the wire as higher priority. I think I put the door as like four. Oh, don't forget to put some wire here first. Uh, kind of want it. Well, not just like this. And then... I'll mark this to be built, but I'll leave it at prior one. And then we want to put in a door here. It'll, it should just delete these two tiles of gas. It's just CO2 anyway. There it goes. And it closes. Even though I clicked open just a little while ago. That's probably fine. Alright, so if we put crude oil here and we, we then set this to say uh, how can I... Oh, I forgot. I can't make this put out a green signal without adding a switch temporarily. That might actually turn out to be a pain. Uh, I could just temporarily connect this wire for this to open. That's pretty easy. Oh my goodness, what is... what is going on here? I am Sark and, uh, Kedra and Morpheus are having a bit of a... having a bit of an Agent Smith moment, it looks like. Tech two years, but... oh, I see. No reason to drop it on a metal tile anyway? Oh, because the... Temp shift? Wait until it is steam temperature. Yeah, I don't think it matters, but it's fine. Watching this is making me want to open Oni again, indeed. That do be how it works. Let me just mark this conductive wire as higher priority. I really want to make sure they do that before the airlock door. Otherwise, it'll be inaccessible. Doppler effect, <laughs> indeed. Why are we suffocate? Oh, that place. That reminds me, I wanted to make this whole area, like, luxury. Luxury duplicate housing. Um, Alright, let's make Atmo checkpoints out of our ridiculous... 
ridiculously plentiful iron. I want to leave room for 20 uh, Atmosuit docks. Two, three... Wait. Oh no, we've already got gas here. Uh, I might have to just put this over here, I guess. That's not a tragedy, is it? It's probably fine. We could even have it come straight from here. What happens if we recharge the suits with the brain? Uh, you get to use them again, I think. I've never actually done it. We get the name of the machine. The Neural Vacillator, I think it is. We've got a couple I haven't used yet. I don't remember where they are. Oh yeah, the mob. Neural Vacillator. Any brave volunteers? They can try and download a brain again. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what's this saying? Pump not in liquid, no liquid output. Don't care. Alright. So I was trying to figure out where I want to fit Atmosuit checkpoints. I guess we don't really need a door there. So, Atmosuit Docks. I want 20 of these. 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to max out at 20 dupes. And this is going to be our living area. That's the idea, anyway. What are we printing? Omelets? Each dupe can have four special traits from the downloadable brain strength, less stress, Diver's Lungs and Healing. Huh. Mucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Having plus one suit dock for always charged suit can be nice for fast swap. Hmm. Oh, why is there pee water here? Maybe two blocks of ten? That is scary. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I think I'd maybe like that better. It's all going to lead to the same area anyway. Where's our checkpoint? I need to make sure to disable it as soon as it's actually built. Two blocks of 12 suits, you know, to account for the dupe factor? What dupe factor do you mean? Right, disable building. There we go. And we're going to need oxygen to find its way in here. And I technically could link this up here. You know what, at least for the moment, I definitely don't want 100% of our oxygen going to filling these things up. Okay. 
shit. You're good. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. Friday night and the cool change is here? Yeah, it really is. It's nice. I'm about to get some mostly water and settle in. What is this guy doing? He's idle. We need more make work, apparently. Wait, surely that means all of our jobs up here are done. It actually does. Huh. Fair enough. When does this erupt? 5.3? So, are we actually ready to move our crude oil in here? Yeah, it's been nice not... It's just cool enough to not think about how hot it is. What the hell is this? Does anyone know why... When I made a manual airlock here... To, to squish the gas and then decond it, it came back back as a copper or tile? I've seen like these airlock doors, if you disable the mod and load the save, there'll be blocks of whatever they were made of. But I, I don't think it's anything like that. It's how you make natural tiles. So what happens when you decon a copper door and it's blocked on all sides? I had no idea it would be that easy to make the natural tiles. When do we get the luxury bedrooms? They're coming, they're coming, jeez. Also, we got vacuum in here, which is just the reason that we built these two doors. Because you can plant plants in copper or tiles, yes. Good for pit planting, but you lose a bunch of metal. It's really not that big a deal. I mean, it's what, uh, 200 copper for one tile. I think that's a bargain, especially considering that normal, actual, natural tiles would be more than that. Fireburn bait. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing what? Oh no. Oh no. Um, Glossy Draco is not supposed to be in here. Finally cooled off? Yes. What's our, what's my weather report say right now? 22 degrees. Max temp today was apparently 28. Beautiful. Absolute. Why can't they reach this? Why can't they reach that? They should be able to. Maybe we have to decon this first. But yeah, it looks like... Uh, if I'm going to restrict the dupe's access into this room... This is not the place to do it, because the Drekos have wandered out of their room. It's 21C outside, 26 inside with the aircon going. Why would you run the aircon f when it's 21C? Alright. Luckily, we caught our glossy running to the right. That's gonna have to just stay there for now. Because if I don't, the studio hits 33. Ozy. All right, um, when does this erupt? 4.9. I think it's time to put our crude oil in, but we can't really take this back. So are we sure it's time to put the crude oil in? I definitely want the pump to be unconditional. I'm not concerned about having somewhere to put it just yet. Oh, oh, oh. We might want to build the cooling system first. That might be a good idea. We have built this so that we could perform the maintenance afterwards, but... Uh, 
it might be a little bit easier to do this first. Okay, so... We're using a thermal regulator just because we need a type of coolant that has the temperature range that can handle this stuff. We're going to replace it with petroleum later on. But this is fine for now. Much less of a pain to set up. And we're going to want... It would probably be really easy to accidentally oversaturate this. I think I'll just do it manually and be careful about it. Hopefully that'll be fine. Is there no ventilation? Oh, right. You need pipes for the output pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the last and easiest thing that we need to do. Um, how much potential load? 3,400 watts. Aren't we only putting a thousand on this anyway? There might be, a, in theory, a little bit too much on this transformer. Uh, but more realistically, it's a bunch of stuff that isn't active 99% of the time. Also, I could just put another transformer up here if I really have to. Um, so we'll just connect this like so. And... Yeah, that should just about do it. Can we open this for now? Actually, probably better if I leave it on auto and just change this. That was for T-Hex. I'm still curious about the cooling. Uh, which cooling? What the... What? You're joking. Oh my god. So they're, fall they're sleeping in a pile of their own pee water. Because I didn't catch the moment that they built the Atmosuit checkpoint to copy the setting of Disable Building. Uh... That is something that should have been included in the quality of life update. Being able to set settings on buildings before they're built, so you don't have to just stare at them. It's a dupe trap. It really is. It really is. Why would you need that kind of... Oh. Alright. Take your sweet time building this. Heat up the airlock door. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh yeah, make it out of really, really hot igneous rock. And increase the temperature here. It doesn't actually seem to be happening. Sudoku, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This contraption is taking so long to finish. When does this erupt? 4.4. I want to have it ready if possible. Can we hurry up with the parts that take the longest to walk to? Those are reachable, right? Yeah, they are.
I should have done duplicant gems. Some of these, some of these guys are really, really slow. I know, uh, Bait Schultz is pretty new though. We got him today. I thought I saw someone had this errand already. Why is it taking so long? Um, I'm gonna have to remove this automation wire and think of something else. Really, really wish door permissions could be controlled by automation wire instead of the duplicate checkpoints. No, don't walk through the door. Oh my god. Why was it set to open? Okay, okay, okay. No. Can we wrangle them again? Can we can. Okay. Make that auto. Three point nine cycles remain, and they. S Still haven't built a single one of these pipes, even though I've, even though I've seen like someone having an errand to do it. I'm not sure why. Someone fix the door, please. No? I'm just gonna wrangle him first? Okay. And now you're not picking him up. Just just gonna leave the cranky Draco. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Are we finally gonna build this? How did you get scolded? Oh, he must have been carrying hot igneous rock or something. Finally. Alright, just one more little construction job, I think. Make that two, apparently. Conductive wire. And do we want to run the thermoregulator unconditionally? No, we probably want to... We probably want a knot gate from the thermo sensor. So when this is cold enough, green signal to open this, red signal to shut this off, right? Why are we suffocating? Oh my. Hey, what? Are you sure you haven't delved too greedily and too deep? Bait Schultz? Jesus, how did you even... There's like three dupes here as well. Four? What? Uh... I'm terrified? There's a bit of oxygen here. Or here? It's all snow and ice. How fast is he losing his oxygen? Kinda fast. Jesus Christ. Alright. How about dig this as emergency priority? Some of that is actually considered hard. Oh my god. Wait, that's granite. Okay, how about over here? None of that's considered to be difficult to dig. I'm 
will totally dig to save himself in time, Lamau. There's like three of them there. I think we can try it. Four, wait, wait. One, two, three, four dupes. I think we can do it. Oh, there's apparently, there's little bits of polluted oxygen here. Jesus Christ. All right, apparently we should at most suit checkpoint this place because holy crap or I could just not let them go there until until we finish what we're doing oh that's super fast no don't what are you doing finish the job let the oxygen through, that's the entire point. Oh my god! Are you serious right now? Alright, that should at least give them access to something to breathe. If they come all the way over here again. Uh, in the meantime, how about... Okay, first of all, I'm just going to put a door here that says no one's allowed to go left. And then, rather than building another Atmosuit checkpoint over here, we'll work on the luxury homes and the universal Atmo docks. I need a bunch of electricity there. Can we get this done so that I can give it settings? Nope. Come on, guys. Alright, no one is allowed through this door unless they're coming back inside. And loaded plastic. We need a... Well, first of all, we need some hydrogen in here, but also... We need a knot gate. To get the inverse of the decision to open that door. So basically we're either cooling and not opening the door, or this is cool enough, therefore we're letting liquid fall down here. And if it's cool enough to do that, we'll shut off the thermoregulator. This isn't going to shut and delete fluid, is it? I feel like it's probably going to have fluid tiles here and a bit here. I would hope, as long as there's room for it, it would pop... No, it, it's only going to like delete it if it was somewhere like here, right? I'm pretty sure it'll just pop the fluid on either side. You need three doors to delete stuff. Okay, cool. All right, and what do we got? Three cycles left. That's actually pretty comfortable. We should be able to finish this before it comes time to test it. Got plenty of steel, right? Yes. Yes, we do. Damage overheat. Oh. Don't care. Suppress current. Fantastic. There's another vacillator over here.
What is this? Checkpoint? I can barely see it. The checkpoint's broken anyway. It wants obsidian for the repair. Who's got slime lung? Also, what are we printing? Probably nothing, basically. Where are we getting slime lung from? Oh, that's... Not actually that bad. What? The puffed has slime lung or something? The puffed isn't normally a source of germs, is it? Hmm. Should probably put some more buddy buds around. Where's the worst of the slime? Over here. So let's just drop one of these over here for now. Buffed has slime lung needs a vet? Oh no. Oh, we got this built. Perfect. So now I want this to be below some number of degrees. Probably a good idea to drop it to room temperature, but that might take some time. Uh, let's just try that for now. And then we let in some crude oil. And once there's just a little bit of crude oil, we need to snip this automation wire right here. And then set this to... Uh, to what? Does it even actually need automation here? Oh, maybe the liquid vent needed to be way up higher. I, I really hope it doesn't need to be up here. That would be the most horrendous oversight for having built all of this and then running into a problem like that. All right. We're going to say petroleum. If petroleum is detected on this tile, we're allowed to put in more crude oil. So in other words, once all of it flashes to petroleum, we're going to try and put in more crude. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm, hmm, I might have to move this down a tile. Is it going to be a disaster if we try it beforehand? Probably not, honestly. It's probably not going to be that bad. If I were to drop the, like, overflow spot over here. Does crude oil drop below petroleum? Or could you have, like, multiple layers? I guess it doesn't matter. It's going to heat up just the same, right? I really don't know. No, I'm pretty sure... Hmm. You know what? I'm really not sure what's going to happen. I suspect we've made a mistake. Or at least something that would be a mistake if I had all the information. And we're just going to do some science and see what happens. I think it's going to work great? Really? Alright, what do we got? 1.8 cycles until this thing fires up. Much excitement. What will move the liquid up? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Uh, basically, uh, when it flashes to a different type of liquid, it's going to get popped up to here because, uh, because you can't have two fluids on the same tile. 
And if there's no crude oil here, this will be allowed to empty. Oh, we're getting some rain. Um, this will be able to output as long as it's not over pressure, right? So a thousand kilograms. Unless, if this tile is petroleum, does it make this unable to output crude oil? Is the thing I'm worried about. Won't the problem arise once the liquid vent is covered? That's what I'm thinking. If that's how it's going to work, then I'm pretty sure I have to drop crude oil from above. Uh, we're obviously not removing this tile up here. I mean, I guess I could put... I guess I could put this here. I don't love that, but... Let's say we put our liquid vent up here. And then, if there's no crude oil, this one's enabled. We're trying to cool it here to a temperature that's low enough for crude oil not to become petroleum. So we really only want petroleum to overflow up this way. I really hope I'm not going to have to make it bigger. After all that. Why is there polluted oxygen in here? Oh my god. How? We've got one cycle to clean that up. Alright. All right, let's try it. Hurry up. And I even deconstructed the gas output earlier because I didn't think we needed it again. If we don't get this done today, we're not getting the polluted oxygen out. Or I could just disconnect the pipe. I don't really want to have to do that. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Good job, evil plum. And I'll make this out of steel because it costs the same, right? It costs way less, actually, to make a gas pump. But the idea was that they would use the steel that's right here anyway. I don't have a storage place for steel, so they shouldn't be trying to take this away. Why is the door not opening? There we go. And is someone doing this? Move in. Why are there three people with current errand? Because it's supply job. And here comes Idara. Oh my god, there's one piece of pipe missing. Oh no. That's half the day gone, but there's just one little bit left to go. Budgie Balm is supplying. And building. Finally. Now we need to open this, but I don't want 
that machine trying to run? Oh, it can't anyway. And we're down to three grams per tile. We've got 0.4 of a cycle left to go. 1.2 grams. We're really cutting it close. Because it gets slower as we get closer to vacuum. 0.3 cycles. 300 milligrams. And... 80 milligrams? 0.2 cycles? 50 milligrams? 99 seconds? 35 and 85? 25, 75, I think we're just going to make it. I think we are maybe just barely going to make it. 8 milligrams. Ten seconds, three, mic three grams le uh, milligrams left. Oh, there's a bit of gas left in here. Oh no. Well, we're basically done. Hurry up and finish. Hurry up and finish! 600 micrograms. Gotta close your conducting door. Yeah, I know. But I don't want all the heat here to be gone before we get to play with this. Don't want to have to wait for another eruption. 100 micrograms. I thought because the room was so small, maybe the deceleration wouldn't be as bad as usual. But, uh... Nope, it is. 50 micrograms. 40. 30. 25, 20, 10, 9, 8. At about 3 you see it start to like collapse. Yeah, it's kind of collapsing on its own even without the gas pump doing anything now. Alright, we have vacuum. Again. So now we want to set this to below 25 degrees. Now what was the setting that this should be on? Oh right, I have to temporarily flip this. And that should pretty rapidly give us petroleum. 200 degrees. What's the temp that it changes? 400, I think. And then... Liquid pump goes here. 330, 350. Oh, there it is. Petroleum on top. And crude oil down below. But once all of the crude oil is petroleum, this should go green. And let in some crude. It instantly becomes petroleum. So far, so good. Alright, that's looking pretty good, but... I think we actually do need the liquid vent up here. It might be as easy as that, though. But then... How am I going to get someone in there to build it? Um, also, why do we have no ceramic, apparently? We've got tons of ceramic. Well, as long as it gets built. I 
think we'll probably have to just put this up here, and that might actually work. Maybe. Why are the outer corners on that door blinking? The outer corners? Do you mean this thing? It's like a weird bug with this mod. Oh, crap. Why do we have sour gas? Because we didn't... Because we didn't get the liquid up here to start cooling it. And I didn't put a limit. And sour gas happens at a lower temperature than I thought. Let's see... Wait, what? Hold on. Sour gas turns into methane if it cools down. We have to make it ridiculously cold, though. Well, at least it's contained. Um, I'm thinking I should stop... Stop this heat from coming through. Very fine line between petro and sour gas. Yeah, what was it again? Right, let's look at crude. Crude oil becomes petroleum at 400 or so. Sour gas is 538. Hmm. And then it has to get very cold to change back to something else. How am I going to deal with this? The ultimate Oni build is the sour gas boiler. Oil, petrol, sour gas, methane, natural gas. Hmm. Let's pretend that I have a way to get this sour gas out of here and vent it to space. Uh, what then? Or if I save scum. How would I... I need a temperature sensor. Hmm. Maybe instead of checking for crude oil slash petroleum, I just check for fluid here. To decide whether the liquid vent should be open. And down here... I stop letting heat through the moment that we're hot enough for petroleum. Rage quit now, come back next week, pretend nothing happened. It's going to be really difficult to patch this. Hmm. I can't put in a small gas pump because it's got plastic. It's made out of plastic entirely. Which is going to turn into knack. Uh, nap, 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 at 159 degrees. I could put a gas pump here and open that door back up. That's probably the way to go. If you save scum, I will look the other way and say nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I would have to put in a gas pump here, pump this to space. Uh, which I thought I had made access to vacuum already, but apparently not. It's pretty trivial to do that, though. It's really not worth the time, I think. 
The gas is omega hot though, your steel pump will also complain? Oh crap, I didn't even think of that. God, sour gas, sour gas is nasty. How are you supposed to get rid of it? Alright, um, first of all, shut the front door. And it's going to be a little... Oh, we're still pumping the oxygen. Well, that's only going to be a few, like a minute. So if we leave this open... Dig this out. Put liquid vent up here. Connect liquid vent to hydro sensor. If I control the door and the vent from the same logic, that might not necessarily work. If this is shut while we're letting heat in and open... Open otherwise. Open your door while pumping? Yeah. I might need a knock gate or something. Well, let's put that aside for the moment. If we let crude oil in here... I really want the crude oil to be below the petroleum, though. Uh, let's try this, but just temperature control it better. So we need to swap this out. We want to behold the creating of sour gas again? No. Oh boy, there's already petroleum there. Okay. No, 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 please. No. Uh. I think we can decon that. Alright. So we're going to need a temperature sensor here. We, we're going to need to keep this closed until we're sure we know what we're doing. Um... No sensor out of steam. And I think I think that's the only thing that's going to be linked to the door, actually. Yeah. Uh, what? 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 How? I forgot this needs a green signal to be open. Not a red signal. There we go. <laughs> Please open the door <laughs> too late. It's counterintuitive. You open the door to not let the heat through. Okay. First things first. No more fluid. Second things first. Keep door open. Um... Third things first. Replace this with a temperature sensor. What? You're joking. He deconned the... That's a little... that's a little bit irritating. Uh, 
I was not in pipe view when I told them to deconstruct. One would think implicitly you're not telling them to decon pipes if you're not in pipe view. Okay, click this, decon, click this, decon, click this, decon. Make sure this says below. Keep the door open. Tubes are smart. You used the word think in there, so... I guess you got me there. Alright, now... Why didn't you deke on this? Someone's gonna travel all the way back and then all the way here again. Temperature sensor. And that's gonna be the only thing linked to the door. I hope there's not a bit of oil in the pipe here. There is. That's going to make it a bit more tricky. How much water is uh, oil is here? 480 kilograms. That should be fine, actually. And then it just output anyway. Okay. So that's going to go there. We're going to get rid of this bridge immediately, as it turns out. We're going to open the door when temperature is below uh, what was it? 400-ish? Crude oil. Alright, so if temperature here is below like 405 we're going to give it a red signal. So when I click and change that to above it's going to be green. Uh, the liquid vent output is going to be based on the amount up here. I'll just check there's no connected pipe or any fluid that we are still going to output here. And then hopefully we can why is there steel here? Get it out of there before it gets stuck there forever. I think we're going to have to wait for the next eruption. Um... This part seems to be doing pretty well though. Oh, look at how fast. Look at how fast we're transferring temp from the igneous rock now. Much better. Okay. And then... See how that goes. Let's see how that goes. You're not gonna bring igneous rock from somewhere else and pop that to the right, are you? You you did. You you actually did the thing. Actually, what if I do this? Are you gonna grab it? Nope. Wait to leak crude oil into the cooling part from the hydro sensor? That's the idea, yeah. Slapstick comedy. Can they reach this through the gap? 
doesn't say it's unreachable. Oh, it does, actually. Never mind. Another cycle goes by just trying to get, like, four things done. Yes, yes, turn around at the end of your long journey because you hear the bell. Good. Do that. What are we printing? Um... Packing? At least this part works. Oh, and we got the gas out again. Let's deke on the pump. Rayla Gabriel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Building broken, don't care. Oh, how did those fish get all the way down there? I guess they just flapped their way down like so. Maybe I sh shouldn't attack them. What if this is like a natural fish meat farm? <laughs> Something I didn't consider. Well, I didn't think they would find their way to some water that they can live in. But they are looking rather glum. I think in future playthroughs I might plan to have the printing pod directly above Haku Farm. Build the printing pod around the water reservoir. And maybe it could double as Paku Farm? Nah, I think I'd keep those separate. I do like the idea of Paku that get printed dropping in and becoming like natural fish though. Alright, let's sweep this first because apparently the dupes won't use the rock that's already there. And then? He's not going to turn around and use it, is he? No. I could maybe make him drop it like that. Oh! Well, that's one way to do it. Did you want to move the output pipe upward? I thought about it. I think I want to try this first. Oh, that is a slow process. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Output fluid is... I'll tweak this as we go. But as long as we're not detecting fluid up here, we'll put in... We'll try to put in more crude. And door is, as long as we are below 405, let the heat through. Well, let's say below, like, I don't know, 370 or something. Um, I have a feeling we're going to let a bunch of heat through, and then when this opens, there's still going to be heat here to transfer. So we want to start by undershooting it. In fact, the moment that hits 300, how much crude oil is here? Only 490 grams. I think especially to get it started. 
We should probably just let a little bit of heat in. Because I think there's a lot more thermal mass here than on that tile of crude. Um, that's on the wrong setting. That'll help. So I'll put as much crude here as possible so it's more thermal mass. And we'll get a more precise control of the temperature here. You need to get it to 400 minimum. Yeah, but what I'm scared of is I open the door because we've reached our target. There's a bunch of heat left over here. Uh, and then we overshoot our target by more than 100 degrees. So just for the moment, I'm just kind of controlling it manually. I'm going to wait till this is over pressure. So we've got as much thermal mass of crude oil here as possible. Oh, that's coming through like 50% because... Because we have our loop here that we're not using yet. Wait. Oh, we have like a finite supply of crude right now? Uh, might be enough. It's probably enough for our experiment, maybe. Alright, so it's this pipe here. We just need to make another one. And we need to avoid sucking up water as well, so... Why don't... Why don't I put another one of these down here? What's the overheat temp of this? 125. And this is 90. We can probably get away with gold amalgam. And then... I need some wire. Oh, I got rid of all of that wire. Why is this marked for decon 600 years ago and it hasn't... What the... Okay, so all of this needs lead that we don't have. But why was this never deconstructed? That's really weird. That's really, really weird. Probably, no. I was going to say we might even have enough iron for this, but that's kind of a big ask. We'll see how it goes. We are getting a constant supply of iron without even trying. Door closed at fish? Door closed at fish? Oh, this? It's not disabled? It's got oxygen and it's got power. Oh, this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot why I did that. Good call. Alright, so I want the decon part to be done... ...sooner rather than later. Just so I can plan out the rest and then stop paying attention to it. Why is this thing giving bad efficiency again? Probably does need more water. I don't like the amount of water we've got here. But 
we'll see. Do not forget about it. Like what happened last week. I'm just going to keep going until we have like multiple grams even of water, of steam per tile. Alright, that, that looks better. See how that goes. When's this overpressure? A thousand kilograms. We're way, 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 way below that. But as long as the steam turbine is happy, that's what I'm really looking for. I have enough thermal mass in the steam. Okay. Not sure how the crude oil got up to here, but I'll take it. And now we have literally, well, basically all of our crude oil up here because this is apparently still doing a 50 50. Huh? Oh, that's the pipe. There we go. I guess that'll get done when we have enough iron. Speaking of iron, Volcano Dormant, next activity not for 42.4 cycles. That's kind of rough. Um, and this one is active, I think. Oh, we're up to 0.3. There's already iron, liquid iron here. Never actually powered that one, apparently. It's probably fine. There's some iron. Another ton, in fact. That's ten tiles worth of... big cable. And there's actually too much to, uh... to pick up right now. The cooling is the bottleneck, temporarily. Alright, well, we won't be getting more crude oil for at least a, a little while. Um, but we can maybe run this experiment with what we've got. I think I will save it. And... How much have we got? 781 plus... 870 kilograms plus 878. How much thermal mass does it have? Uh, specific heat 1.69 versus what? Solid steel? Is actually lower? Hmm, but how much is here? It's 100 kilo, right? So this tile here should actually have way less thermal mass than all of this, if I'm reading that correctly. In which case, we should be able to set this pretty damn accurately. Let's, um... I'm going to set it to something arbitrary, well below the temperature at which our fluid will change. And we'll see if it overshoots and by how much. So our target is 200 degrees on this tile. Our metal tile is significantly hotter than the tile where the thermo sensor is. That's something to consider, even if this does have a lot less thermal mass.
As long as we... Well, I was going to say as long as we don't overshoot it by like 100 degrees, it's fine. But the more we do... Alright, what's our temp here? 204. That's only 5 degrees over. 5.6? 5.7? Oh, it's still, still equalizing. Yeah, just under 6 degrees of overshoot. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so let's set this to like 395. I know we've got something to print. Uh, sure. So if we set that to like 395, we should probably be just cold enough to not get petroleum, considering that 399 degrees is petroleum, uh, and you need like, like plus, oh it's actually like 399.9, .9. you need like plus 3 degrees or something for it to actually change state. But I think this should just be too cold to make petroleum. And we'll step it up one degree at a time. We can build a pump in here whenever... Ooh. Okay. When is the door going to shut? What's our temp here? It says 365. Well, that's clearly not right. Also, even though the petroleum is up here, we seem to be... Oh, I was going to say dropping in more crude oil, but that's not what's happening. It's... I think we end up with a gap when this changes to petroleum or something. Hmm... This petroleum up here is now a chilly 190 degrees. So... Oh, we've got no magma. We need to wait 10.7 cycles until we can play with this. Also, the liquid vent is over pressure. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. Damn it. 10.6 cycles. Alright, fine. I think I'll take a little break there. Um, I might see... Nah, the save should be before we played with this, I think. Alright, let's take a little break. Fire up some words on stream. I need food badly. As often happens when one is immersed in some kind of problem solving. That's disappearing very quickly. That oxalite, it's already gone. Oh wow. Words on stream is getting doxxed again or something. But doxxed, that's the wrong term. Uh, DDoSed. See, it sounds very similar. While that's loading, let's have a look around. We have 1.6 tons of iron, not counting the ton of iron here, not counting 20 kilograms of iron per tile on the rail, which isn't, which is like chicken feed compared to a ton here and 1.6 here. So yeah, we've got like what, 2.8 tons of iron waiting to cool off? How much do we need down here, I wonder? 
Hmm, significantly more than that. It won't be that long, but it'll be a while. Uh, when do we get our other volcano? 40 cycles. Maybe I should dig up some more lead. Might be a good idea. Where, oh, where? Why aren't we digging this up? It is reachable. No, apparently it's unreachable. I'm not sure why. And... Oh, it's unreachable for people whose turn it isn't to use a Atmo suit down here. And people are building the Copper Volcano build. Which I completely forgot about, to be honest. Alright, let's, let's increase the priority of the dig jobs a bit. I don't think there's even lead over here. Oh, there's a little bit. And down here as well, perhaps? Alright, that's going to take some time. Time for a break. I'm just going to leave it running, and unless someone dies, uh, we'll just continue from there. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Nicely done. Let's continue, shall we? What do we got? 7.7 .7 cycles until this erupts again. Maybe we could even get our crude oil moving before that happens. Um. Wait, what? Oh, is there like... No? Why is this white? Oh, because this doesn't have power. I think I understand. Uh, but yeah, I think I should replace a bunch of this... ...with lead. Let's see how much of that we've got handy. we've still got 9.3 ton available so maybe oh those were already supplied all right well let's just build up this way and see if we would theoretically have any lead left we would fantastic There we go. And apparently we wouldn't be out of anything if we did that. So now I want to prioritize the construction. I do appreciate that they've been building this. It will be a long project, but it's not what we want to focus on right now. Hmm. I guess if I let the oil biome reach a temperature of 100 or so, we'd get rid of this uh, water. But how would I even do that? Oh, we're still erupting here? Fantastic. Next dormancy in 71 cycles. I guess I may as well build our pump here. Why don't I just search for pump? That's much easier. What are these buttons for? Toggle list view, toggle grid view. Oh, was that always there?
Hmm. That might be a bit easier. Give it a try. Have some dupes carry a crap load of 1200 degree rocks down there? Indeed. They'll probably heat up the base just while they're moving through it. Two hundred and seven degrees. Huh? Oh, it's waiting till it hits two ten. We are outputting some igneous rock this way, but maybe should probably increase this a bit. And then we let more hot stuff through, and then the steam gets hotter. And that way we can actually work through our backlog of 15.5 tons of igneous rock that we're not using for heat yet. Let's make that a bit faster. What did I set it to? Below 250. What are you at now? 700? 650? 620? Okay. Cool. One problem at a time, indeed. Alright. Should I just put a petroleum reservoir here? Maybe I should have just made a big, like, pool for it at this spot. Uh, what is this set to? Above 25. No, that should be below 25. We don't want to let the petroleum through here until it's nice and cool. Oh, and I haven't put the hydrogen in here yet. Maybe I should measure it exactly. Um, does anyone know how much can go in the thermoregulator itself? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That might already be too much. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's cut that off there. And I'll look at exactly how much goes into the thermoregulator. And we'll add almost that much. Is it stuck? Oh. Oh. I didn't think it would already be stuck. What's its contents? Zero. Oh, it's not stuck. It's, um... Nope, nope, it's stuck. Huh. How much is here? Insulated gas pipe contents 910 grams of hydrogen. Contents none. If its pipe is... If it's saying its pipe is blocked... That's kind of weird. Why is there oxygen in here? We fixed this. How? How is oxygen getting into the hydrogen loop? If it's the same problem as last time, and I can't see where else it could possibly be. Is that also chlorine? How the bloody hell... 
Okay, so chlorine is getting sucked up here, but it goes through a filter. This only takes oxygen. That part's not a problem. You're telling me oxygen and chlorine are finding their way up here. Leftover from last time? No, we cleared it out. There's nothing in the big tanks. Don't understand. Also, apparently we're still running this pump here. Um, that's a merry waste of electricity that we've left running for a long time. We should we should probably not right now. It's gonna damage the bloody hydrogen generators. What are they made from? Gold amalgam. I'm a, you know what? For all the trouble it is, I don't mind just letting that happen for now. But like, how the hell is chlorine up here? Chlorine is heavier than oxygen. And we've got 700 grams of oxygen down the bottom. I don't get it. It's a lot of chlorine over here as well. Is there any pressure in your base? Seems all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. We've got only 1.5 kilograms of chlorine per tile in here. Somehow we have polluted oxygen in here? What? This doesn't make any sense. So this has to detect hydrogen for five seconds and then this activates for what two seconds i think it is a little bit longer yeah no two seconds and you're telling me we're detecting five seconds of hydrogen here while there's chlorine and oxygen up here really I don't know to what degree it's simulated, but I would expect air currents caused by movement or temperature variance would keep gases of different density moderately mixed. Uh, it's really not... They don't simulate air currents at all. Like, the gas is just sort of... The individual tiles of gases just sort of bounce around randomly. At least, that's what I see them doing. I guess I could put a tile up here, and that would make it even less possible for anything but hydrogen to get up here. Hmm, we're seeing oxygen find its way this high. Maybe it can occasionally jump over here. That door opening and closing isn't making it easier. Well, we'll see if that gets done. Um, apparently we need a bunch of spacesuits. Let's copy settings. It'll only copy the prior nine, I think. I have to click deliver on each of these individually. We're already most of the way done filling up these many, many Atmo suits. At that speed, it looks 
almost like each tile is just treated as an atom bouncing around, yeah. I tried making a wind current once, actually, by putting uh, in a narrow corridor that was only just high enough for dupes to move through. I wanted to make, like, high pressure here so that gas would get pushed out here, but it didn't work even with a really high uh, differential. Oh, it got re-liquefied. Wait a sec. Wasn't there supposed to be, like, a lot of iron on that tile? And now it's... We have 1.5 tons of iron on this tile. We just saw that there was like 600 kilograms of liquid iron on this tile. I don't know what's going on there. But it's very strange. You could filter only hydrogen? Yeah, I didn't... It, like, I'm filtering it using gravity, that's the idea, so we don't have to pay another 120 watts. I think if... I think if we only have one tile up the top, it should be more than enough to prevent any other gas getting through here. I hope. Wow, hydrogen got all the way down to the bottom. That's weird. There is a trick with a valve looping on itself. Or you can make a filter that requires no power. That's weird. Alright, are we anywhere near getting more crude oil? Pipes are done. Uh, I don't know if they can reach... They can definitely reach the liquid pump. We've got enough iron and or lead for all of this. It's just waiting to get finished. Fantastic. Hmm. How many slicksters do we have? A few. Uh-oh, what was that? I didn't get to see it. A poor copper volcano wants to erupt, but we haven't had the chance to give it the opportunity yet. Doop, 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 doop. Four point three cycles. Oh, crap! I hope we can get our crude oil by then. It looks like we probably will. It doesn't help that we've only got two Atmo suits. Oh, I can make it three. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't help it having only two dupes able to come down here at the same time. How many Atmo suits do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Make sure we give it some power. And 
still have a suit, brand new nine. Oh, it's also not getting gas yet. Well, it's getting gas very slowly. Oh, crap. Uh, why are we not getting oxygen right now? Is it because we don't have power? Where's our battery that tells us? Um, battery looks okay. Disabled by automation grid. Um, because... Because we're detecting oxygen... Wait, what? Oh, we have to detect oxygen for the gas pumps to activate. But why are the electrolyzers stopped? This thing's still full. Um... Oh. Oh, it's the atmo pressure of hydrogen up here. I think with the change that we made over here, we need to... Perhaps increase it? Wait, that says above. We need... We need below, so like 500. I mean, no, we need to... Right? Oh. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If this is green... It means the water container here has never been full, but that doesn't... Oh, that does track. Uh... I think... I think we need to not rely on that liquid reservoir for information. The last few times you looked at the room, the door was open. Don't know if that changed it. I think that's not the issue here. Um, regardless of what I did with the output up here... Um, we're getting a green signal, which gets inverted from this liquid reservoir. It has to go... it has to get full... again... before... so basically we're short on water. Like, we're not actually short on water, but the way I set it up was, if we get this low on water, stop running the electrolyzers. Uh, that may have been a little bit premature. Maybe... Maybe do the same thing, but here? Whatever the case, I need more water. When does this erupt? Not, not for 31 cycles. Disabled by auto grid. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think it might be time to start taking water from the steam vent here. What would be the best way to go about it? Set it to 90 slash 80 so it doesn't fluctuate. Uh, it doesn't really fluctuate. That's why it's these are constantly off right now. I think I'll just force them back on for the moment. I think if I'm going to do this, I should probably have a notification. Um, like somewhere or other, I'm going to want it to stop consuming water. Like, don't, don't consume all of our water to make oxygen. Both are critical. But, like... 
let me know the moment this is low enough. Don't need to make it out of steel, actually. Let me know as soon as things are that dire that we would automatically stop the atmospheric condensers. Kind of low in oxygen already. And then we need to acquire that slime? Yuck. Uh, we need to acquire water in a hurry. Priority 9, please. Now, where's our water input? Uh, up here. If I put it in the P water loop. Nah. I'm gonna need more pipe. We've already got a mess of pipe over here. Hmm. Maybe I would put these further apart in another playthrough. Actually, it's more the spaghetti that I added down here that's the problem. Just bring it down this way. Do I really want to kill that tree? It's too hot here anyway. I'm gonna have to put like another bridge in somewhere. What does this come from? Oh, this is crude oil. Hey, it's coming! Nice. Um, let's add a bridge over here. And over here, snippy snip, and then I put that in the wrong place, whatever, it's fine. Pump. Uh, how hot is this going to get? Less than 100. So, I mean, it is water, after all. So we'll put this here, and we're going to need some power. We'll probably just borrow the heavy watt for that. And construction priority, yes. Oh, I haven't been running this carbon skimmer. What the hell? That might help things a bit. Why did I disconnect it? Do, 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 do. All right, oxygen is going to be sorted, but we need to sort out our water input. Oh, it looks like they can already reach there. Good thing I was building this uh, Atmosuit dock and noticed the oxygen supply. 
sooner rather than later. And we need a bridge here. First thing in the morning. Fantastic. Marvel, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we have crude waiting to come up here. Um, oh. No, we already set that pipe correctly. Wait, what's going on here? Where did that crude come from? There was like a little tiny bit of crude in the pipe that was on its way up here. That's really strange. That is very strange. But hey, we're also getting more water from the carbon dioxide now. That helps. Scav uh, Scavendari, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I should just run the electrolyzers themselves unconditionally. And just have a dire warning if our water gets low enough. That involves a lot... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. What was this logic here for? For the pump? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so reconnect that. And... Should we still... Stop the electrolyzers if pressure reaches X? I don't see that as terribly likely, but we may as well. Alright, there's our way too hot water. Oh, it's actually only 42 degrees by the time it gets up here, really. Oh, down here it's already only 40-something. It's had a very long time um, to equalize temperature with the area. Should probably build a proper heat containment area, but for now we're in a bit of a hurry. What are we printing? Only 2.7 cycles till we get some more heat. Hopefully we can get these wires finished. I think I should crank the prior priority on them. It's really not that much more to go. We have people idling. Budgie Bum is checking out the cool steam vent and holding his breath while doing it. It just occurred to me that they can't swim. Never really thought about it before. Electrolyzer outputting 70 degree oxygen if water is under 70 degrees anyway. Hmm. Well, it's going to go in 
Like, it's going to heat the base, but we've got, like, a couple of coolant loops already. Including a thermo aqua tuner here that runs as long as we're not running out of electricity, a uh, battery charge. Um, and also we have a hydrogen loop. What, what is supposed to be a hydrogen loop with two uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifiers. You could say they are too, too dense to swim, <laughs> indeed. Mazzle Fazzle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, there's no way to damage the anti-entropy thermo nullifiers, right? What's it made out of? Iron. Like, it's not going to try to suck up oxygen, is it? Uh-oh. I think it can't. Okay, that's good. So sooner or later, the hydrogen generators are going to take damage because, because they're going to suck up oxygen or chlorine or whatever. It's just going to cost us a little bit of gold and milk and to fix them. It's that or put filters on the hydrogen loop, which I really don't feel like doing. You can melt it? Oh no. I would prefer not to. And these ones still have no O2. Not for long. Yeah, this ceiling only to, to let hydrogen come over here seems like all we need to do. We are pumping like... Nope, no we're not. Hmm... Maybe I don't need to check for hydrogen if it's like this. Like, this should act as a filter, right? Because we're never ever going to have anything but hydrogen up here. Unless we end up with so little hydrogen. And so much more pressure from the oxygen. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't assume that. But I'm thinking I should put some more logic here. If I were to say that we need more pressure before we run the gas pump. Oh wait, no, it is doing 500 gram per tile. That's fine. A stand corrected. Vacuum? Oh no. Yeah, I think I will add some more logic to this. Um, so what are you going to say? Atmo sensor? And... So basically that also has to be X amount of uh, atmospheric pressure. Actually, I should probably check like this corner for that.
Oh, they have no access to that. Well, we can fix that. Sadly, neutronium is not meltable anymore. Even at 10,000 Celsius? <laughs> How would you even get to 10k Celsius? Only one cycle left. I don't think we're going to get our crude oil in time. Unless? Unless we already have? Fantastic. Okay, so... As long as we detect no fluid here, crude oil will come through. We'll change that when there's like a little bit of fluid left up here. And as long as temperature on this tile is less than 350... Oh, sorry, is... Wait, what? Current ambient 362... Oh, right, this is inverted because red means closed. Um, but still, we do need to let more heat through. So it looks like, ultimately, it only overshoots by, like, 10 degrees. But peak overshoot is probably going to be significantly higher than that. Let's try 380. Also, if you melt the Hermit home, it crashes the game? Oh no. Oh, there was still some heat here that we could take. Cool, cool, cool. So it's the heat's going to transfer a lot faster when we've got magma here. Because the difference is going to be much higher. I'm just going to stop having it tell me that it's over pressure. And suppress current from this as well. Thank you very much. 0.7 cycles until eruption. Beautiful. And let's put this tile back here. So atmospheric pressure has to be above 1 kilogram per tile. And we have to detect hydrogen here. Both of those conditions for at least 5 seconds. We'll see if that isn't too extreme. Also, we close the door if anything but oxygen is detected on this tile, so it shouldn't find its way out. Definitely would make more of a tall than a wide room for this next time. Um, but yeah, pressure is building. 820, 830, 860, 870, 900, 900. So what I want, the, the reason I made this change is I want the pump to always pump 500 grams the 240 watts that we're putting into it. I don't want it to keep going when it can hardly get anything. Oh, it's dropping. What? Why are we dropping? Oh, I see. Let's try double that. That might be a bit too high. We'll see. No, it shouldn't be, because this triggers uh, 1,000. And then? Four hundred grams per tile, twice. Hmm. Alright, how long till this erupts? Wait, two! We're almost there. This design you make, you won't see them anywhere else? What does that mean? Ooh, here we go, 30 seconds. No, 80 seconds. Slight difference.
What's the pressure here? 877. So once the eruption happens, that should pause, right? And what do we got? The petroleum up the top here is only 200 degrees. It's had a while to cool down. Although in a vacuum, it can only be exchanging heat with the crude oil. Oh, 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 look at that. So we keep getting this tile empty somehow, which means more crude oil comes in, right? It does. Somehow. And we're at 357 degrees. Petroleum. Sour gas at 538. I don't think we're going to hit 538. Hey! Already sour gas? And no You're joking! How? We were just watching it. It was only in the 300s. What the hell? Are we just going to have to live with a little bit of sour gas in here? Is that how it's going to be? Oh, also I had to make room... Uh, there's too much hydrogen in here. Okay, um... How am I going to get rid of a little bit of hydrogen? And here I was, I thought I was being really careful putting in less than the bare minimum to get it started. When man does not know the limits and measures everything with his naked eye? What are you talking about? I literally, like, edged it closer and closer and closer to get the bare minimum temperature to go over into... Uh, into petroleum. There's a weird state change rule called flaking in Oni. Oh good, more shit that you're supposed to read the wiki for. It'd be weird if that information was in the game. Alright, so I just want to let, like, what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? How did adding that bridge make this loop happen? Like, nothing's coming out of here. We have the same amount of... What is this? Are you fucking kidding me? What? This doesn't make any sense. I refuse to read, read wiki, indeed. What's happening right now? I have no idea. I... <sighs> Disable by automation grid because there's any, and I do mean any, fluid up here. Somehow we've got 1.3 kilograms of crude on one tile here. 
only 642 kilograms of crude here. And this tile is crying. And crude oil is coming through it. Because reasons. 500 kilograms? The normal amount you can have on one tile is like significantly higher than that. This is 878. 900. Over pressure? It bloody well shouldn't be. This is 900 right here. Besides which, we can't put out more than a kilogram of pressure here. And even if we could, it's only 642 on this tile. Nothing makes any goddamn sense in this game. Why a door is cut? What do you mean? Nothing... none of the wires are broken. Should be open now as liquid is full? No, it should be... This tile is apparently still below 380. Aha. Uh -huh. Apparently the temperature of this bit of crude oil is nowhere near enough precision or information to control this properly. Maybe the overpressure occurs when the oil turns to petroleum? Some weird game... Uh, some weird gameplay behavior? Compressing the two tiles of oil interior into one... No, they separate though. Like, this becomes empty, crude oil pops into here, and petroleum pops to here. Like, this is the last tile that should have a problem. If anything, it should be this tile. Or maybe this tile? But yeah, I think... I think we need an AND gate. Maybe... Hmm... There was, there was fluid up here, right? What if I put this temperature sensor there instead? Or we could simply only let heat through while petroleum isn't detected up here or something? That means I have to let the dupes in to build it again. This game needs construction butts. I suggest making the whole contraption two tiles wide. Yeah, it's a bit late. It's pretty much the same problem as even though we carefully measured the amount of water that we put in here so that it would be way less than the maximum of steam in this room. When we had like three tiles where the water could come down here, somehow it just all exploded at once. I have no idea why, but we ended up with, like, three kilograms per tile of water here. 
compressible liquids, Lamel. And the steam exploded out through here. That's twice that Oni's compressible liquids have screwed me over. When does this launch? Uh, 79 seconds. Okay. I kind of want to... I kind of want to play with this manually and see if with careful enough temperature like the shape of see if the shape of this is okay if we're slow enough letting heat through well that's that's a bit too slow for me let's go Maybe I should have used... No, 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 no. <laughs> I was going to suggest, like, conduction panels. If I was really stupid and lazy, I could have just extended that... Um, that loop through here, or around the hot door, anyway. But... Uh, water doesn't actually have that high of a temperature before it flashes to steam. So let's maybe not do that, at least. Okay. So we're going to set this to close. And open. I'd really like to move the sensors around, but it's such a pain. Maybe you could put a radiant pipe into that metal tile and measure its contents temperature, so no overheating. Which tile? I'm just going to inch this up one degree at a time and see what happens. Above 350, stop. And that just jumped up like 10 degrees. 340, 350, 360, 379. It's going up 5 degrees a tick. Oh, crap. Okay, how... If this is only 415 degrees, how did we just get sour gas? Alright. So we have to set it... I should save right before... Right before we run the experiment. It ne I never thought I would have to make, like, a pulsing machine or something to let little bits of heat in one by one. Alright. But, like, this tile here is... The tile right next to the m heat conductor somehow is like a hundred degrees below the tile up here. That makes no sense. Does the metal tile get hotter than the boiling point of petroleum? Uh, I don't think it did. You might be right there, but... 
Alright, blue... 330? We're up to 18 seconds. Let's save it here. Uh, so if we're above 330, allow heat to conduct. Or rather, no, if we're below. It's inverted. So the metal tile is at 500. What was it? Salmon, I guess. No, we have to look up petroleum. 538. So yeah, it is... The metal tile is going to overshoot that temperature. And for some lovely reason, it's not possible to actually measure the temperature of the metal tile. So... We have to make some approximation. Okay, that looks pretty good. Except we're not making any more petroleum, are we? I think we had 205 kilograms before, right? So, 331. Oh, it's at 334 already. 335. The thing is... We're letting it equalize, which it wouldn't normally do. Uh, 345. Holy crap! I... what? Even that gave us sour gas? Really? How? I'd love to be able to watch a replay of that in slow motion. I, I guess we kind of can. So what, wait, what was this set to? 345, after we kept stepping it up and letting the metal tile uh, equalize. We're going to watch it in slow motion. That's some weird pressure heat magic? <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. You would need more oil at the bottom so it can suck up the heat slower. Yeah, it's a bit late for that. I mean, at this rate, I might have to make a much, much bigger build for this. It seems really silly that it's necessary. Okay, so we're at 18 seconds until... Till it erupts. What's the temperature right now? 313. Yeah, we started at 330, right? And we're just gonna let that run until the heat settles. So what, if I had, like, radiant pipe from here to here that had some fluid in it but wasn't actually going anywhere, and then we measure the temperature of the radiant pipe from this tile? Might be a lot more responsive. Anyway, um, that's settled down. Let's crank it up to 335. And it immediately goes to nearly 700 degrees on the metal tile. I think, honestly, I need some circuitry to, like... Instead of this being hard on, it should just be, like, a pulse, and a pulse, and a pulse. 
I don't think I can cram that much logic into such a small space, though. Oh, I could do like a timer and an AND gate, would that work? Can you build pipe sensor on the tile? Yeah, so you mean like radiant pipe like this? Put some kind of fluid in there? Definitely not crude oil. Probably even not petroleum. I don't have a fluid that can go that high. Would an empty radiant pipe conduct heat like that? I, I need a fluid to be in the pipe to measure it if we're going to do that. Yeah, unless, unless empty radiant pipe transfers heat faster. What if I put a temp shift plate there? That might have made a difference. Anyway, has this settled? Just about 342. All right. So we're going to put it on slow-mo. And go. That is gaining heat ridiculously quickly. Okay. Maybe I should have had, like, some kind of buffer that just doesn't conduct heat as quickly as the metal tile? What if I just put... Hmm, what kind of tile could I put in that would be more conductive than insulated tile, obviously, but not ceramic. Something that can take the heat that is less conductive than steel, like, say, 5 or 10 or 20 times less conductive than steel? but a lot more conductive than insulated tile. Normal obsidian. Uh, that might be a really good idea. Obsidian solid. Uh, magma at 20, 27, 26 degrees. Obviously, that tile is not going to be getting that hot. And let's see. Thermal conductivity 2.0? Really? Steel solid is 54. Hmm. Um, is there a way to see the stats on... How conductive some insulated tile is? Not in the game, I'm guessing. Yeah, igneous rock is about the same. The wiki, yeah. Now that's actually a really good idea though. A regular tile made out of obsidian. I was thinking a regular tile might be the way to go there. So that's like, uh, what, 25-ish, 26, 27 times slower to conduct than steel? And we can maybe automate it, letting the heat in at a much more controlled pace. You can see the tile versus insulated tile properties in-game. Do I have to build them first? It's just a 
hundred times better. Better in what way? Alright, let's have a look at... I don't see any stats on this. Let's continue with this experiment first. We're going to be loading the save anyway. So... We're running it in slow-mo. We've got 814 degrees here. We, ha we suddenly have vacuum on this tile. I never noticed it do that. So presumably that just flashed to petroleum? This is only 345 degrees. This is, uh, 344 degrees. We've got 2.3 kilograms of crude in one tile. I guess that's why... Why would it pop from there? Because that's the hottest one. No, that... I'm not entirely convinced that makes any sense whatsoever. So now we've got 2.3 kilograms of crude oil here, and a very small amount of petroleum here, and now... And now what? Two kilograms... 0.3 kilograms... 0.2 kilograms. And we're still way over sour gas temperature on the middle tile. And now they're all petroleum? I wish I could put on... Oh, I can. This crude oil just keeps bouncing up and down. It's weird. So what have we got now? 346 degrees. Only about the same amount of petroleum. Crude oil gets output as well on the vent, even though it's already high-pressure oil. Yeah. Because this tile keeps flickering between uh, whether or not it's high-pressure. How am I supposed to measure if the pressure is too high if the tile that we would be measuring keeps changing. How did Damsel do this? I'm sure I saw she had like a really small chimney for this stuff. Now we've only got 1.2 kilograms of crude here. It's like equalized up here. Still nothing but vacuum. Let's have temp here. It's down to 400. Oh, has it equalized? Pretty much. Alright, 3.46. Crude oil get 5 kilograms petroleum. Yeah, it's not much. Oh, sorry, no, 2.45 kilograms. Alright, so heat's coming in again. It instantly jumps up to 800 Celsius. We've got like 1,200 kilograms of crude on each tile here. So 
so far so reasonable. Now we've got 2.355 kilo of crude on this tile. And now I can't even tell what I'm looking at. This is sour gas. I didn't check the temperature last tick, but... How? This crude is 346 degrees. This petroleum is 347 degrees. And we have sour gas at 524. Excuse me, what? Let's just check again. We're almost 200 degrees short of making sour gas. At least, we're supposed to be. Only open the vent when the sensor doesn't detect oil. Automation wire has 524. No way. Where is it getting it from? I think it's getting it from the sour gas. This automation wire is still cold. I I'm I'm not any more convinced this makes even a little bit of sense after watching it happen as slowly as possible. I, I definitely do want to try that block swap, though, if we can. Five kilograms petroleum flashed into sour gas, probably flaking works diagonally where did you get that five kilograms you mentioned earlier i thought it was a typo someone said hurik said oh wow five kilogram petroleum there was like 205 here So I guess the steel on high temp kind of instantly turns? Is this the flaking you're talking about? Uh, I should have had a save before I had any oil in here. I mean, I probably do, but I don't want to go hunting for it. How can I even get someone in here? I think I'd probably just have to allow crude oil and petroleum to go over here. We'll deal with it later. Should watch the VOD too. I think we'll just dig this out. And we'll swap this tile for obsidian regular tile. If you prevent the metal tile to go above 500, you can skip the flaking BS. Yeah, that's the hope. We just make this tile much more conductive than insulated tile, but much less conductive than metal tile. In fact, now that I think of it, it depend. Oh, great. Rip liquid pump. Uh, but depending on how this works, uh, one could argue you don't need any metal tiles. Depending on what throughput of heat 
you're satisfied with, I guess. Like, if these were all regular obsidian tiles, as long as it could keep up with draining all of the heat that the volcano spits out using the steam turbines, you could save yourself, you know, a precious however many hundreds of steel, depending on the shape of the build. Which is not so precious now, but it certainly was when we were building this stuff. Now there's crap in there? What? Hmm. I need to shut that door the millisecond before they build that tile. Probably a chain of obsidian would be too slow. Yeah, I'm thinking obsidian... Maybe if you had a thicker... Like, more than one tile. Like, a row of one tiles. You could have more throughput of heat. Like, if you were, if you were con uh, transferring heat down to here, for example. You know, if all of these were regular obsidian tiles, you could have more throughput. Or if it dropped into a pool somewhere, or... I don't know. I've got a bunch of ideas. I don't know how many other materials you could use with... It's pretty much nothing, honestly. Like, obviously, ceramic is a crazy insulator. Obsidian is the only material that I know of, actually, that has... that can tolerate magma that's less thermally conductive than metal tiles. Anyway. Um, maybe I should just... Wait. Maybe I should just wait till this eruption is done. So we don't have magma here. While we're trying to do surgery on this. Because we could wait till this, uh... All of this heat trans... Well, almost all of this heat transfers up here. When this is not erupting close this door, and then block swap. Or we could just try being really, really accurate with our timing as we force the door to close, and then try to block swap. Okay. Is this crude? It is crude. I could try being really greedy and... Trying to make it so that both of these two tiles are... Petroleum, and then only decon this one, and then maybe the dupes can block swap this? Maybe? Is it gonna... is it gonna open? Nope. Never mind. Uh, Close the door should crush gas slash liquid. Hmm. Crushing sour gas if it appears. Something I hadn't thought of. Considering it's too too damn hot to put in a steel pump, makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think I'll just deal with the uh, crude oil coming into here. And 
then we need a regular tile made of obsidian. Wait for the dupe to come here. Uh, I was meaning to cut this off. Cool. Who's on the way? Nobody. Is it reachable? No. No, it's not. Also, I'm really curious as to how putting a bridge here, not with uh, not with this uh, gas able to go this way at all, caused this loop to keep moving. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. Well, I thought the li I thought the liquid and gas bridges didn't actually contain anything, right? Like, they just act like a teleporter. Because if you ever decon them, uh, the fluid doesn't go anywhere. Because there is none. And yet, the only explanation I can think of for this is a little bit of hydrogen goes into the input for the gas pipe. Alright, so now someone should be coming to do this. And we need to shut the door like two milliseconds before this tile is actually completed, not started. And considering that I don't know the build time and the delay with the door responding, it's going to be a wild guess. Oh, wow, that's fast. Oh, yes! Did we do it? That was gaining heat really, really fast. I don't think it's going to fill the role that we're hoping for it to. Let's try it anyway. So 244 is our target temp. We're at 243 degrees. Let's see what happens. Wait, what? We're below 244. That's green. That means open. I, I need to invert that. Okay. 260... 363, 415, 496, um, I, I don't think this is working the way we were hoping. This is practically as conductive as a metal tile. Good news if you want to save on metal for these builds. It's faster than metal. It may as well be. Look at it go. Oh, it might be because it has less thermal mass. Because look. This is, this is barely gained a degree so far. Yeah, we're losing many degrees on this tile before we gain a degree or two over here. Metal jump to 600 east instantly. This one at least takes two ticks. Maybe. I hope. Okay, we could step this up little by little. But... Oh, you, you should be... You can calm down until we're actually ready. Uh, what's the bare minimum temperature for petroleum? Oh, sorry, crude to flash. It's like 399, right? 400. Okay. Okay. 
we have to be able to set this up so that we don't have to watch it, right? If I aim for 300 degrees from only from already 247, what does it end up at? That's already over a thousand on this tile. 1100. It's most of the way to the temperature of the magma already. But I think it has way less thermal mass than the metal tile. It's not just less conductive. Yeah, the temperature of the crude is going up pretty slowly now. I know we've got more of it over here, but... This might actually be a good solution. Ceramic normal time? <laughs> Maybe? It would be very convenient if an obsidian normal tile was good enough. And that's 300. It barely went two degrees over. Okay. Dare I set it to 400? Tile is getting very, very hot. It's creeping more and more slowly towards max temp over here. Which is still going up, by the way. 1200 degrees on the tile. 324 on the thermo sensor. Okay. I don't think this is over going to overshoot by very much. Hmm. It's going to it's going to take longer and longer as it gets closer to the temp we're aiming for, I think. Wait, what happened here? Did we get gas? We didn't get gas. Why did this tile become vacuum? Oh, is it because this changed to... Petroleum? You could use an insulated tile and just directly heat inject with a conveyor bridge? From door temp sensor. An insulated town directly heat and jack with a conveyor bridge. Conveyor bridge. Uh, you mean like the bridge version of the conveyor belt? So that tile could be insulated and, and we use this to equalize temperature with the door? Is that what you mean? Yeah. That's pretty smart. This seems to be working, though. We're settling at 402. I know there's more fluid over here, so more thermal mass. But... I think this might be our answer. So now we need to... We need to somehow patch this in with a minimum of disruption to what we've already got set up. And then I want to run it... Ideally, I want to run it from as cold as possible. But we've already got some petroleum in there, so that's not really happening. Wait, what? No, that's the autosave. This one?
So I'm thinking mop up. Can we mop up? Like cut off cut off the crude oil that's coming in, mop up what we've got. I hope we're able to do that. Decon this. Worst case, I would have to decon this airlock to be able to mop it up. And we do have a vacuum here, so that should be okay. <laughs> looks like this, looks like Glacier Wolf is dual wielding. All right, and then I I don't think we can mop this. We'll have to remove this airlock door. And somehow we still have too much because a bunch of it turned to petroleum. Or rather, the petroleum spread along the top. Oh my god. Wait, we're able to mop this. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Perfect. Alright, should we maybe move these out of here? Uh, in any case, I want to replace this with obsidian. Regular tile. And sweep all of this except for the steel. Uh, and don't bother sweeping the igneous rock. Actually, they're probably going to do something stupid, so sweep the igneous rock. I need a place to store the petroleum and crude oil. Can I... It's not possible for me to store... Like, jerry cans of and petroleum in one of these, is it? Moving bottles not that easy? Oh no. Yeah, there's, there's not going to be anywhere where I can say store oil here, right? Hmm. Do I have to make a couple of big buckets for them? I might have to. That's unfortunate, but it's not that big of a deal. Wait, I think we need another tile up here so we can fit the tab. It's probably more than enough. Set to oil only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could put a bottle empty away down here for the oil, but I'm not going to do that. It's going to take a while to prepare to try this one. No! Ah, uh, that's fine. Wait, did that destroy the steel? No, it's up here. It's up here now. <laughs> Where is it going to end up when this closes? We're about to find out, I think. when it gets down to 200. can't remember which one. Okay, so where's our steel gone? Did it get destroyed? Surely not. But where'd it go? Would it destroy 
items? I... I don't see it anywhere. It was only a hundred, so... It's still in here. We are never, ever getting that steel back. I guess I could... Decon this metal tile? Yeah, we could... Mm, but then... Destroys gas slash liquids, not debris. If I try and go down this way, dig this out, and then take the steel, we're going to end up with all of the igneous rock here. From the side? Yeah, I think we have to. While there is still time. Alright, so this is going to be crude. Sweep only. And this is going to be petroleum. Are they stuck? Oh my god. You guys are the worst. You never cease to amaze me, honestly. And I mean that in the worst way possible. Hell. <laughs> this is a tomb of your own making, Philip B. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Try closing bottom door, then close top door. Maybe it teleports up again. Uh, I'll have to wait till the top door closes. And I don't really want to let heat through here right now. I, I think we'll just do it this way. We need to have dupes coming in and out of here already. About fail, Clay could really do something about this. Like, maybe check if they would have path. I don't know, back to the printing pod from one side or the other? Doesn't have to fall over if they can't find path, they can just prefer to have path to the printing pod. The question is, where is that steel when this closes? Uh, I wonder if we even need to remove this tile or not. Okay, hurry up. And do we now reach this? We do not. Should probably sweep this before they... Before they put it somewhere, uh, before they get that stuck in the door. It crushed the steel and regenerated it. Yeah, it seems to do that because... Oh, it's out now. I was going to say, it seems to do that because we lost the sweep order um, that we had on the steel last time. Alright, now we can rebuild this. Um, hurry up and get rid of this crude. Apparently we don't have room for it. I beg to differ. Actually, 
I kind of want him to sweep that one first so that I can build insulated tiles here. The anti-entropy thermo nullifier did indeed take damage. Fortunately, it only needs iron to repair it. Uh, okay, that's a disturbing amount of... other gases that we've got in the loop, in retrospect. Fine. I'll put a filter somewhere. That's gonna take... That's gonna be taking so much power until it's done. I'm not gonna connect this until until we've configured the filter. Could put it down here, actually. And then that can just go there. And this can go here. And I'll disconnect this until it's done, actually. We need power as well. It's already powered. That was quick. Alright, so we're looking for unbreathable hydrogen. As opposed to breathable hydrogen. And that should be... God damn it. I really hate the 10 minute cycle, or whatever it is. So much of the dupes travel time is wasted because they're going back to bed so often. Someone said here before that it only uses power for filtered gas? Maybe you could set it to filter the oxygen. Is that true? How can I test this? The thing is, it's not just oxygen. There was a little bit of chlorine that got in there as well. Um, and I'm not going to eyeball it and bet that there's no more chlorine. But that is actually really good to know. But isn't it usually the filtered gas that you're actually looking for? What are we printing? Pipsqueak? Why not? I don't know why we're not sweeping this crude oil. There we go. How's our temperature? Um, bad. Very bad. I'm surprised we're still able to eat. After I took so long to check this. Uh, is it because we've been bringing in 40, 50 degree water? Probably. How's our water supply? It's not even that good. It hasn't even increased. What the hell? How? How is it... How is it we're constantly bringing in water from here? 
cooking the base. And we still haven't gained any water over here. It's like at the exact same level it was before. When does our cool geyser erupt? Not for 25 cycles. That could be really bad. Maybe it's time to add a second Thermo Aqua Tuna. I, I would be very surprised if we can support it, but at the same time, every time I've checked, it's been running. So... Maybe? Should probably... Change the setting on this. If we're gonna... Rather than have two sensors, I think we'll just have another 14 degrees here. To prevent freezing. Not that I think we're in danger of that right now. We can go to like negative 20 or something with... Uh... Uh, with polluted water. So we need some... Automation wire... Which one's the output? It must be this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still filling the Iron Volcano steam room? Uh, I, I didn't continue filling it. It's It's been done. I just put a little bit more in. It's been working for a while. No problems there. At least. When's this one erupting? 28 cycles. Oh man. Why are we scolding? Why are we scolding in the base? Why is the... What? How is this airlock door 82 degrees? What? And why are you standing there getting scalded? Just looking shocked. Get away from painful things. Did someone... Did someone bring something really hot through here? I can only imagine. Why is it this hot? These dupes? Yeah, no kidding. I think it's about time to replace this with iron. Not that it should be pop. Uh, not that it should be necessary in this spot. All right, fine. Decon, 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 iron. Hurry up so I can click it. Iron and iron. And then we have to stare at it and wait until we can click this. Should be done. Clearance vacancy. Didn't we figure out that we want clearance always? I haven't seen anyone wander in here without a suit anytime recently. That's nice. Unreachable? No? Oh, yes, because suits. That makes sense. Can we finally get rid of this crude oil here? 2.6 kilograms. 
I don't know why with this set to priority 9 that's such a problem. Actually, they didn't. I thought they carried something off that off gases into vacuum? Like what? How much coal do we have? 15 ton. Only 616 kilograms of dirt. Algae is at zero. We've still got lime. We could make more steel. Polluted dirt is apparently always at zero. Oh, it's probably because I told them to put a ridiculous amount in here. Are we using it for anything else? Wait, what? Does the critter feed it off gas? If it's got polluted dirt or something in it. I didn't know that. It looks like that's what's happening. Okay. How do we have people standing idle and this bottle emptier is not being used? We've got multiple multiple people idle right now. Eight idle. So why? Uh, we've got three Atmos suits ready over here. And people were moving the crude oil before. Surely you're not about to try and tell me that, like, this is enough for it to stop using the bottle emptier. Come on. Really? Really, really? Surely not. Right? Storage capacity 200 kilograms. Doesn't that mean the bottle emptier itself? What if I set this one right here to top priority? What happens? Nothing. But you were already picking it up. It's about time. Uh, Alright. Dupes Union told them to do nothing. <laughs> Alright, I think we're actually almost ready to try again. They still... How is this unreachable? Oh right, I, f I forgot. Uh, I, I was just commenting on that like two minutes ago. Uh, Alright, we are almost at the point where we can try this again. And hopefully before the heat runs out over here, though I don't think that's going to be a problem. They still have to eat low quality food, was time for a strike. But I'm trying to set up things they need to survive before luxuries. Uh, save as this type. This time. Oh, god damn it. This time. Definitely work, no lie. Perfect. Alright. Can it work with just this logic? We'll soon find out. We've just save scummed. 
All right, so while temperature is below 400, close the door. You forgot for real, for real? I can't fit very much. I don't know if I could have fit for real, for real. And... Oh, I... it's probably for the best, but I accidentally forgot to invert this again. But we should probably wait until there's more crude oil in here first. Maybe I should have put the the crude oil output here and tried to detect petroleum here, but then it's got to go all the way up. But never mind. Never mind. Let's put that magic bridge in that makes the uh, makes the hydrogen loop work. And let's say we're just about ready. All right, here we go. Why don't we have a 50-50? Don't care. So we're going right from minimum temperature to 400. Let's see if the automation can handle that. See, see if the... The heat throughput is slow enough that it won't sour gas. Wow, it's dropping. What was that about? What was that about just now when the temperature on this tile dropped? Was it because more crude oil came through? Place your bets, sour gas or no sour gas. We're only up to 104 degrees. Actually, how the hell do we have three tiles of crude here? If the output is here, how is there... Like, there's, there's no petroleum yet. How have we got crude oil up here if the output is down here? That don't add up. That really doesn't add up. At this rate, we're going to get crude oil over the edge here. Why isn't it over pressure? Wait, why is it spreading out? It works this time, no lie. Is this going to give you sleepless nights now? Absolutely. Maybe output threshold is a thousand and one cube of oil gives less? One cube of oil... Oh. I should have remembered that. I commented on that earlier. This is only 900. Huh. I'm used to water or something where if you have an output pipe down the bottom you can only get one tile of depth well crap um i guess i should have put in a hydro sensor like here to limit the input The temperature is rising really slowly, though. I think this is going to work just fine. That's actually really, really... Oh. Oh. We're out of... We're out of hot juice for 10 cycles. That's not great timing. But 
one might even argue that is bad timing. I don't think we're going to reach 400 here. Okay, so how would we improve this? Um, I don't know if it's going to be okay in its current state once it's actually got petroleum. I doubt it. Oh, I, sh I wish I'd built something the dupes could, where the dupes could reach everything here. Would have made it a thousand times simpler. I could still put an airlock door here, but then I'd have to like build this up here so that we have a vacuum here. That's actually pretty easy. mess this up and release the vacuum. Gonna need a ladder here. Like it's settled at about 166. And it's gonna get a bit hotter, but not that much. Alright, so. Well, I need. I need this gas out of here, first of all. What is that? Sandstone? Igneous rock? How much is it? Lots. Lots and lots of sandstone. Let's do this. And then, like this. Excuse me, what? Wait, what what got damaged? The pipe? Oh no. Why is there 8.9 kilograms on one tile of hydrogen here? Did I actually run it until... Until what? Though... Insulated gas pipe. It doesn't say how it broke. Becoming too... Contents becoming too cold. You're kidding. Hydrogen gas. You're telling me we got the hydrogen... Gas down to almost... Absolute zero? What did you build the bridge out of? Um... Sandstone? The bridge was just there because for some reason uh, that actually like the, the, the too much hydrogen just barely too much hydrogen that I put in here started looping once I put that in. Uh, do I need to go back again? Like how am I going to get one tile of hydrogen out of here? Put in a gas pump and a filter. And then... It doesn't go back into the storage tanks here, and they're full anyway. I could make a temporary storage tank, I guess. Right. 
Zora. Really questioning whether I should load a save again. We just keep getting these things happening. Yeah, we reached liquid hydrogen, apparently. I could just leave it there. It's not going to, like, kill the steam turbines or anything, right? We can take our time fixing that. It's fine. How much steel do I have? Surprisingly a lot. You're not going to do the other one? Okay. And then these two. Thank you, Morpheus. At least I can count on you to never ever do something stupid like get yourself stuck and almost die for no reason. You would definitely never do anything like that. Cool, cool, cool. Only killing steam turbine if you drop under 100C in your room. Hmm. It's made out of lead anyway. Alright, we can decon these now. Pretty sure there's no wires or anything. Good job, save my beam. Powers lurking sketch. I wonder why. Didn't I just check? Oh, I checked everything but. I checked everything but conductive wire. There's a freezer, there's a freezer. No beep, 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 beep. Watch him get stuck there. Alright, and then we've got enough steel left over, I think, for a gas pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas pumps are actually shockingly cheap. Where's the hydrogen? Does it matter? We should probably just put it in the middle anyway, right? Gas pump out of steel. I can actually put it here. And then... So allegedly, the filter doesn't cost anything unless it's finding the filtered item. Whatever the case, I'm not hoping to have to run this for too long. That probably needs to be made of steel as well. And then... Like this. And... Like this, I guess. And then it needs power as well. And I guess we'll use iron for that because apparently we're out of steel. Why are we out of steel anyway? We've got plenty of lime lying around. I love Oni, indeed. Saxon, name a dupe. Alrighty, next time we take one on. We're losing food. Still haven't resolved this temperature issue. We're just above the temperature we need. 
Uh, we really need that, uh... Okay, water is going up at least, but that's sort of the problem, because we're taking on hot water. It's another 21 cycles still until we get cool water coming in. They still haven't... Oh, they don't have a Atmo suit lying around. That's probably why. Can we actually... Yeah, let's undock all these suits. Or at least some of them. Even cancel request is not included in the copy-paste. Alright. Fantastic. Uh, this is actually why Thermo Aqua Tuna didn't get built. Why are you getting scolded? Probably because you're carrying hot steel. Well, this got built, at least. So we have vacuum, we have vacuum, fantastic. And now it's going to be a lot easier for the dupes to say... I don't suppose they're even going to be able to access this. Which means to clean this up I'm going to have to... Delete this and mop this, I suppose? That's not so bad. Especially now that we've got the drop-off for the crude oil. Alright, are we ready? Filter for... Hydrogen. This is the DLC just classic asteroid start? Uh, I don't have the DLC actually. Alright. When does this erupt? 8.6 cycles. What are we printing? Food? Definitely food right now. Maybe I should stop letting water in. Until things cool down a bit. We're walking a tightrope of... Dying of thirst, dying of oxygen deprivation or dying of not being able to grow food. Until we get more cold water coming in and or... here we go, Thermo... Thermo Aqua Tuna, we've doubled it. So our cold... cold pea water is coming out at negative temperatures now. Or at least it is way over here. Um, this area is kind of hot though. It's coming back at... Well, it's coming back at less than six. So I th think we eventually um, will be cooling the base with that. Alright, mop that, please. And then we might need a knot gate to function as a compact AND gate here. Um, so I guess that, like everything else, should probably be steel.
And then we just invert these conditions and it functions as an AND gate. What? No, wait. What are the conditions that I want here? Let crude oil in if the pressure from crude oil here, or any fluid for that matter. Maybe I should have put it down here. Ah, oh, crap. I really don't want steel to have to drop down this way. Let's see if I can play with the settings and leave that as it is. Yeah, we do need a not gate. We want the default to be off. And then if either of these conditions are met, let some through, maybe? Alright. I think I need to wait till they build all that. Before we put the wall in. We've got eight cycles till this erupts. Did we get rid of the hydrogen? Pipe blocked. Gas vent over pressure. What do you mean? Two kilograms. Oh. And this is 20 kilograms. This is 270. How am I going to get the hydrogen out? I can't filter it. Are you telling me we're stuck with this hydrogen until the end of time? That is not what I want to hear. What if I built, like, a trap for it and then... Uh, oh no. I could get rid of this steam turbine that I don't think we even need. Build a trap for the hydrogen. And then... Once it's in there... We let it go up, like, one more tile. And then we... Build this here? In-pipe gas sensor greater than shutoff? What? No, the problem is, if I'm trying to take in gas here and filter out the hydrogen, I can't output the steam because the pressure is too high. Even with a... a high-pressure vent. So I have to come up with some shenanigans for this one. So we're going to say... Why can't I put this here? Oh, the conductive wire. Alright, alright. I see how it is. Wasn't that a low-pressure vent you just deconstructed? Yeah, and then I looked at the output for high-pressure vent. It's 20 kilograms over pressure. We've got 274 kilograms. Quite a lot, actually. And, of course, they stop before finishing. In Scythe, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this all built? Yes, fantastic. Sweep it up, please. And by that I mean tomorrow, apparently. And I think they'll still be able to sweep it if I put this here. 
probably. How's our temperature? Some more plants are growing. We might not die. Oh, that's a lot of glossy dracos. They're cramped. What's our maximum critters? Eight. Apparently we've got seven. Um... Okay, lower that down a little bit, I guess. I don't know if it's six or five or what. Seven point three cycles until we can try again. Are they still glum? They're cramped, but they're not glum. Uh okay. Reproduction rate minus a hundred percent. This room will become overcrowded once all nearby eggs hatch. Does that mean... They're not now? There's an egg in the room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it counts, and it doesn't count here. It's not helpful, but, um... They don't seem to be unhappy. They are happy. Does that mean they'll still lay eggs until there's actually too many live creatures? It's not going to stop them reproducing until that happens, right? Finally. Alright. Seven cycles. We should be able to actually give this a go. Uh, and the logic here. Let's see. If there's nothing here... Which, we're going to leave it set to that until it starts working, and then we're going to tweak it. And if there's less than... I'm just going to set this to nothing as well. So if there's no fluid detected here or here, you can let crude oil in. Let's save before I have regrets. So it should add just enough that we have crude oil up here, right? Oh. Wait, what? Below one kilogram. Oh, oh, I need to invert both of these because we're using a not gate. And both have to be true. There we go. Or rather, false. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Apparently we just lost some water slash steam by deconning that steam turbine. It's probably fine. And then uh, we can finally get rid of this temporarily. Which means we'll be able to make a trap for our hydrogen. No oh, boop 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 boop. Six point seven cycles left. Alright, we have water, even though we cut this input off for now. We have practically no food growing. What happened? It was doing better. 
The pea water in here is only 24 degrees. Uh, so I think we should probably make this radiant. I mean, it'll probably equalize enough over time, but we're in a bit of a hurry right now. Why is the gap? Why are there gaps appearing as we do this? It's kind of weird. Can we at least get this done before we finish today? I was gonna say for a second maybe it didn't need to be igneous rock, but no, it it definitely. Definitely needs to be uh, insulated tile, rather. Come on, Sigma Bean. Don't quit on me. Fantastic. I forgot the small detail that there would be oxygen in here. Uh, we're going to have to fix that. Good thing glaciers really fast. And then we deep on this. And there should be vacuum here. Fantastic. Hurry up, please. Morpheus. Good job. And. I'm pretty sure even without that corner we can decon this now. Alright, alright, so our hydrogen should eventually find its way up here. And then once it does, go yes, no, yep, yeah, no, what a tease. What an absolute tease of a hydrogen tile. Now it's all the way back to the left side. Well, eventually it's going to be up here. And then we're going to build a tile here. And we should end up with a hydrogen tile here, nothing here, and all the steam forced back into this room. That's the hope anyway. If it would kindly... Give us the opportunity. That would be nice. No? M maybe? No? No? Come on. Don't you want to be free from the steam room? I promise it's not a trap. I mean, it's technically a trap, but it, it's for your own good. Yes, yes. Don't you want to be free with the other hydrogen atoms? Stuck on a much more interesting ceiling? Come on. Just a little bit further to the right. No, no. Come on. Yes, I believe in you. I don't know how you teleported across two tiles. You're amazing. You got this. You can do it. I don't think Hcon wants to do it. Yes, no. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Just a little further. No, that just a lot further. What This could take a while. Maybe I should have done it over here. I probably should have done it over here. Maybe it would have been a lot more likely to happen sooner on a corner as well. I know it can go this far. It danced across the right side earlier. <sighs> Maybe it's like a watched pedal. 
free packing. And they're going to be sad and cramped down here. Oh. How did this happen? What happened to our weirdly persistent water? If you're watching the particle, it will behave like it's being watched. Your quantum something something and another needs more understanding, indeed. Uh, it's still here. It is still here. God damn it. Alright, well... 17 cycles until we get cool water. I think we'll make it that long. I'm scared, actually. Uh, maybe it's time to make steaks. How old are you? Where are the old ones? How can they all be, like, 24 or less? No. What about these guys? Anyone near death? They're all born, like, Tuesday. Bruh. I don't want to butcher them. I don't want to butcher wild animals, either. How's our food looking? More of it's growing now. Oh. Oh, the air is like 28, 29 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plants themselves have a lot of thermal mass. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Before they start growing again. You can see them getting better now. Thank goodness for that. Alright. Probably not death of the colony. Probably. <gasps> Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. We can finish the stream on a high note. We did it, chat. Oh, of course it's night time and no one's going to do this right now. Kevin? No? Pretty please? There's no chance the hydrogen jumps back out, is there? Alright, while the dupes are sleeping, I'm going to start looking for someone to raid. Squeeze the F in there somewhere? There is? There is a chance it could come back? Oh no. I certainly hope that's not what's happening while I'm not looking. Olbusk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... That's it. We did it. It is done. Alright, I'm saving that. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. Factorio. Which will be continuing tomorrow. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, do take care. And we will be trying out Tribal Space Program to the moment it drops. Uh, for better or worse. Definitely for worse for the asking price for an early access game. But hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. Alright, take care guys. See you next time, Blaz, Evil Pla, and everyone else.
Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hello, welcome in.